When Gods Entwine, The Cosmic Dance of Consciousness and Interconnectedness. Introduction. Imagine a world where religions, technology, culture, and ideologies are personified as gods, each with unique attributes and powers. His diverse deities embody the collective consciousness that has shaped human nature, interconnectedness, and the evolution of societies throughout global history. In this thought experiment, we explore the fascinating interplay between the gods of various civilizations. As we embark on this journey through time, we examine how these divine beings influence the development of human consciousness and shape the course of history. Along the way, we delve into the innovative theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception and how it intertwines with Haidt's expanded hive psychology hypothesis. We explore the interplay between individual and group dynamics in shaping human behavior and how these interactions contribute to the universe's self-awareness. Furthermore, we investigate the diverse ideologies of man, personified as gods, to better understand their alluring yet often destructive nature and the consequences that arise when societies become entranced by their promises of a perfect future. We also consider the problem of inequality as a fundamental aspect of reality and a driving force behind the development of different social structures, including herds, packs, and hives. As we traverse the realms of ancient civilizations, we ponder how their mythologies and belief systems have become entwined and how these connections continue to impact our understanding of the world today. We also delve into the significance of ethical principles and scientific progress and the interconnectedness of various disciplines, recognizing the importance of maintaining a holistic perspective when exploring the mysteries of human nature and consciousness. In this cosmic dance of gods and ideas, we invite the reader to contemplate the intricate tapestry of history, consciousness, and interconnectedness that has shaped human societies and our understanding of ourselves. With humility and personal responsibility, we can draw upon past lessons and strive to prevent the repetition of past catastrophes as we continue to uncover the secrets of the universe and our place within it. Chapter 1. The Cosmic Pantheon The Egyptian and Roman gods in the lands of Egypt and Rome, the gods were deeply entwined with the natural world. They embodied the forces of nature, the cycles of life and death, and the principles of balance and harmony. The sun god, Ra, cast his golden rays upon Egypt, while Jupiter, king of the Roman gods, presided over the heavens. As the empires of Egypt and Rome expanded, their gods journeyed with them, influencing the cultures and beliefs of the people they encountered. The exchange of ideas and beliefs between these ancient civilizations created a rich tapestry of interconnectedness, shaping human societies for centuries to come. The African gods, spirits of nature, ancestors, and community. In the diverse cultures of Africa, gods and spirits played a central role in people's lives. These deities were often associated with natural forces, ancestors, and the community, reflecting the deep connection between the people and their environment. Gods like Oleron, the Yoruba Sky God, and Amma, the Dogon Creator God, represented the supreme beings responsible for the universe's creation and world order. In a small village in West Africa, the people gathered under a sacred tree shade to pay homage to their gods and ancestors. They danced and sang, their voices harmonizing with the beat of the drums. Village elders led the ceremonies, offering prayers and sacrifices to the gods and spirits, seeking their blessings and protection for the community. As the people celebrated, they felt the presence of their gods and ancestors, their spirits interwoven with the earth's rhythms and life cycles. Through their devotion to these deities, the people of Africa maintained a strong connection to their environment, history, and community, shaping their societies and understanding of the world. The Greek gods, personifications of human emotions, nature, and the cosmos. The gods of ancient Greece were a complex and diverse pantheon, embodying various aspects of human emotions, nature, and the cosmos. Gods like Zeus, king of the gods, and Athena, the goddess of wisdom, were revered for their power and influence. Meanwhile, others like Dionysus, the god of wine and revelry, and Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, represented the more hedonistic aspects of life. In the city-state of Athens, people gathered at the foot of the Acropolis, the sacred hill housing the temples of their gods. They brought offerings of wine, olive oil, and incense, seeking the favor of their deities in matters of love, war, and wisdom. The priests and priestesses of the temples performed elaborate rituals, their voices raised in prayer and supplication to the gods. As the Greek city-states expanded their influence, their gods traveled with them, shaping the beliefs and cultures of the people they encountered. The exchange of ideas and beliefs between the Greeks and other ancient civilizations created a rich tapestry of interconnectedness that would shape human societies for centuries. The Celtic gods, guardians of nature and magic. The gods of the ancient Celts were deeply connected to the natural world, the realms of magic, and the mysterious other world. Gods like Lug, master of all arts, and Bridget, the goddess of healing and poetry, were revered for their skills and wisdom. Tanunos, the horn god of nature, and the Morrigan, the goddess of war and fate, represented life's wild and untamed aspects. In the verdant hills of Ireland, the people gathered at sacred groves and stone circles to honor their gods and the spirits of the land. They performed rituals and ceremonies, offering prayers and sacrifices to the gods and seeking their guidance and protection in matters of love, war, and the harvest. 
as the Celtic tribes spread across Europe, their gods traveled with them, influencing the beliefs and cultures of the people they encountered. The exchange of ideas and beliefs between the Celts and other ancient civilizations created a rich tapestry of interconnectedness that would shape human societies for centuries. The Norse gods, warriors, tricksters, and guardians of the cosmos. The gods of the ancient Norse were a diverse and powerful pantheon, embodying the warrior spirit, the trickster's cunning, and the guardianship of the cosmos. Gods like Odin, the Old Father, and Thor, the god of thunder, were revered for their strength and wisdom. Loki, the trickster god, and Freyja, the goddess of love and fertility, represented the more unpredictable aspects of life. In the frozen lands of Scandinavia, the people gathered in great halls and sacred groves to honor their gods and the spirits of their ancestors. They feasted and drank, their voices raised in songs of praise and tales of heroic deeds. The priests and priestesses of the temples performed rituals and ceremonies, offering prayers and sacrifices to the gods, seeking their guidance and protection in matters of war, love, and the harvest. As the Norse people ventured forth in their longships, their gods traveled with them, influencing the beliefs and cultures of the people they encountered. The exchange of ideas and beliefs between the Norse and other ancient civilizations created rich connections that have shaped human societies for centuries. Hate's high psychology hypothesis, the god of cooperation and selflessness. In the modern world, Jonathan Haidt offers a unique lens through which we can understand the cooperative and selfless aspects of human nature. As a deity, this god governs hive-like elements of human societies, promoting unity, cooperation, and division of labor. By expanding Haidt's hypothesis, we can explore how human consciousness and behavior emerge from the interplay between individual and group dynamics, contributing to the universe's self-perception. In a small village nestled in the heart of a dense forest, the people worked together in harmony, each contributing their skills and talents to the greater good. The village was a hive of activity, with farmers tending to their crops, artisans crafting beautiful art, and children playing and learning from their elders. At the center of the village stood a modest temple dedicated to the god of cooperation and selflessness. The villagers believed that their god watched over them, guiding their actions and ensuring the prosperity of their community. They held festivals in the god's honor, celebrating their unity and the strength from working together. Through their devotion to this deity, the villagers embodied the principles of hate's hive psychology hypothesis, demonstrating the power of cooperation and selflessness in shaping human societies. The gods of ideological balance and cautionary tales. These gods remind us of the importance of humility and personal responsibility when considering various ideologies. They teach us the consequences that arise when societies become entranced by the promises of a perfect future and the importance of maintaining a balanced perspective in the face of such ideas. In a city gripped by the fervor of change, the people clamored for a new way of life, driven by the promises of a better future. They tore down the statues of their old gods, replacing them with new idols representing the gods of ideological balance and cautionary tales. The city streets were filled with passionate speeches and heated debates as the people sought to create a new world order based on the principles of their newfound gods. As the years passed, the city's once thriving society began to crumble under the weight of its ambition. The people, blinded by their devotion to the gods of ideological balance and cautionary tales, failed to see the consequences of their actions until it was too late. The city fell into ruin, a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked ideological fervor and the importance of humility and personal responsibility. The cosmic nature of consciousness, the god of universal self-perception, in a remote monastery high in the mountains, a group of monks dedicated their lives to studying and contemplating the god of universal self-perception. They sought to answer profound questions. Could consciousness result from the universe's self-perception? How do our brains and bodies create the intricate tapestry of the mind through electrical and chemical signaling? These questions led them to explore the enigmatic nature of consciousness and its connection to the cosmos. The monks discovered that the human brain, despite its complexity, lacks a single integration point, which has puzzled researchers attempting to explain consciousness. They pondered how human experiences align with our understanding of the mind and found that people describe experiencing varying levels of consciousness at different times. This level of awareness is influenced by factors such as stress, relaxation, and one's connection with reality and self-knowledge. By understanding the drivers of our gut feelings and threat systems, such as deeply ingrained beliefs and behavioral tendencies, the monks realized that humans can train themselves to experience a greater sense of consciousness. This understanding, however, is often overshadowed by our desire for control, which can confine us internally. The god of universal self-perception personifies the interconnectedness of all beings and their roles in the grand cosmic narrative. This deity governs the relationship between human consciousness and the universe, revealing how the cosmic dance of ideas, cultures, and history intertwines with our understanding of reality and our place within it. Through meditation and prayer, the monks sought to attune themselves to the cosmic vibrations of the god of universal self-perception, hoping to catch a glimpse of the grand tapestry of existence. As they delved deeper into their studies, they began to see the interconnectedness of all things, from the smallest grain of sand to the vast expanse of the cosmos. They realized their consciousness was a small part of the universe's self-perception, a single thread in the intricate web of existence. 
This revelation filled them with awe and wonder as they contemplated the infinite possibilities of the cosmic dance. The wisdom of the monks serves as a reminder that as we journey through life, we must strive to understand our interconnectedness with the universe and embrace the cosmic nature of consciousness. This understanding can help us unlock the mysteries of existence and our place within the grand cosmic narrative, inspiring us to reach for the stars and explore the depths of our being. The convergence of deities and ideas, a tapestry of interconnectedness. As we explore the realms of ancient civilizations and ideologies, we witness the convergence of deities and ideas, forming a complex tapestry of interconnectedness that has shaped human societies throughout history. This tapestry illustrates the cultural exchange between civilizations and demonstrates the importance of maintaining a holistic perspective when exploring the mysteries of human nature and consciousness. In a grand library, scholars from across the world gathered to study the ancient texts and artifacts that told the stories of the gods and their influence on human history. They debated the nature of the gods, their roles in shaping human consciousness, and the lessons they could teach us about our hearts and place in the universe. As the scholars delved deeper into their studies, they began to see the web of history and interconnectedness that had left indelible marks on the evolution of societies and the human experience. By studying this cosmic pantheon, they hope to learn from the lessons of the past and strive to prevent the repetition of past catastrophes as they unraveled the secrets of the universe and their place within it. In this cosmic dance of gods and ideas, we uncover the intricate web of history, consciousness, and interconnectedness that has left indelible marks on the evolution of societies and the human experience. By studying this cosmic pantheon, we learn from past lessons and strive to prevent the repetition of past catastrophes as we unravel the secrets of the universe and our place within it. Through the tales of gods and spirits, we are reminded of the grand cosmic narrative that connects us all, and the timeless wisdom that lies within the stories of our ancestors. The intertwining stories of deities, civilizations, and human consciousness demonstrate the rich and complex tapestry of our collective past. As we embark on the journey of understanding the world and our place in it, we must honor the legacies of the gods and spirits who have guided us along the way and acknowledge the interconnectedness that unites us all. By embracing the lessons of the cosmic pantheon, we can gain insights into the nature of existence, the human condition, and our roles within the greater cosmic narrative. These lessons serve as a foundation for our continued growth and evolution as we navigate the ever-expanding horizons of knowledge and wisdom. Let the cosmic dance of gods and ideas serve as a guide to the mysteries of the universe and the wonders of our existence. May we continue to learn from the wisdom of the past and embrace the interconnectedness that defines our place within the cosmos. Together, we shall explore the depths of human consciousness and seek the eternal truths that lie at the heart of the grand cosmic narrative. Chapter 2. The Seeds of Civilization. How Agriculture Transformed and Shaped the Modern World. Introduction. As we delve into the annals of history, we encounter a pivotal moment that forever altered the course of human development, the agricultural revolution. Like the ancient gods of Egypt and Rome, the birth of agriculture became entwined with our very existence, transforming our relationship with the natural world and laying the foundation for the emergence of complex societies. The art of domestication and the birth of agriculture. Approximately 12,000 years ago, our prehistoric ancestors embarked on an extraordinary journey that would dramatically transform their lives and the world around them. Humans began the fascinating domestication process in regions as diverse as the Fertile Crescent, China, Mesoamerica, the Andes, Africa, Greece, Celtic Europe, and the Norse lands, taming nature's wild abundance by selectively breeding plants and animals for desirable traits, such as increased yield, size, or docility, resulted in a cornucopia of domesticated species. From hunter-gatherers to farmers, the impact on prehistoric societies, the art of domestication laid the groundwork for a remarkable transformation, the emergence of agriculture and animal husbandry. This shift from the nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle to a settled agricultural existence had profound implications for human societies and our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Agriculture allowed for surplus food production, fueling population growth and paving the way for developing more complex social structures. Additionally, it fostered the rise of permanent settlements as people began establishing roots in fertile lands, nurturing crops and communities. A legacy of agriculture and the ethical principles of scientific progress, the advent of agriculture rippled through prehistoric societies, forever changing the course of human history. With a stable food supply, people could pursue specialized tasks such as farming, pottery, and tool making, giving birth to a new trade and cultural exchange age. This newfound stability also facilitated the construction of monumental architecture, showcasing the might and ingenuity of these burgeoning civilizations. Furthermore, the need to manage agricultural resources led to the development of complex social and political structures, ultimately evolving into the empires and nations we know today. However, this agricultural revolution had its challenges. A shift to a sedentary lifestyle brought with it increased risks of disease, malnutrition, and social inequality, reminding us that progress is often a double-edged sword. 
as we continue to uncover the secrets of these ancient tribes. We must also consider the ethical principles that guide our pursuit of knowledge and innovation, ensuring our discoveries and advancements contribute to a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future for all. The agricultural revolution's downstream effects on the modern world. The agricultural revolution's impact on human societies did not end with the rise of ancient civilizations. Its downstream effects continue to shape the modern world in profound ways. The development of agriculture has led to the growth of cities, the rise of nation-states, and the emergence of global trade networks. It has also contributed to the development of modern science, technology, and medicine, as well as the evolution of human culture, art, and religion. One of the most significant downstream effects of the agricultural revolution is the growth of cities. As agriculture allowed for surplus food production, populations grew, and people began to settle in larger, more permanent communities. These early settlements eventually evolved into the cities we know today, with their complex infrastructure, diverse populations, and bustling economies. The rise of cities also led to the development of nation-states, as people began to organize themselves into larger political units. The need to manage agricultural resources and protect valuable farmland from external threats led to the formation of centralized governments, which in turn gave rise to the concept of the nation-state. Today, nation-states continue to play a crucial role in shaping global politics, economics, and culture. The agricultural revolution also laid the groundwork for the emergence of global trade networks. As people began to specialize in various crafts and professions, they started exchanging goods and services. This early trade eventually expanded beyond local communities, connecting distant regions and facilitating the exchange of ideas, technologies, and cultural practices. Today, global trade networks continue to shape our world, driving economic growth and fostering cultural exchange. In addition to its impact on politics and economics, the agricultural revolution has also significantly shaped modern science, technology, and medicine. The need to improve agricultural productivity and manage resources more efficiently has driven countless innovations in these fields, from developing advanced irrigation systems to developing genetically modified crops. These innovations have improved our ability to produce food and contributed to our understanding of the natural world and our place within it. Finally, the agricultural revolution has profoundly impacted the evolution of human culture, art, and religion. As people settled in permanent communities and developed more complex social structures, they began to create elaborate works of art, architecture, and literature that reflected their unique beliefs and values. The development of agriculture also gave rise to new religious practices and beliefs, as people sought to understand and control the natural forces that govern their lives. The challenges and opportunities of modern agriculture while the agricultural revolution has undoubtedly shaped the modern world in countless ways, it has also presented new challenges and opportunities. As the global population continues to grow, the demand for food is increasing, putting pressure on our agricultural systems to produce more with fewer resources. At the same time, climate change, deforestation, and other environmental factors threaten our agricultural practices' long-term sustainability. To address these challenges, we must continue to innovate and develop new technologies and practices that can help us produce food more efficiently and sustainably. This may include the development of new crop varieties that are more resistant to pests and diseases, implementing advanced irrigation systems that use water more efficiently, and adopting sustainable farming practices that protect and preserve our natural resources. At the same time, we must also consider the ethical implications of our agricultural practices and ensure that our pursuit of progress does not come at the expense of our environment or the well-being of future generations. This may involve re-evaluating our consumption patterns, promoting more sustainable diets, and supporting policies and initiatives that promote environmental conservation and social equity. In conclusion, the agricultural revolution has had a profound and lasting impact on the course of human history, shaping the development of modern societies in countless ways. As we continue to grapple with the challenges and opportunities presented by modern agriculture, we must draw on the lessons of the past and strive to create a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future for all. Chapter 3. The Intricate Web of Societies From Kinship Groups to Chiefdoms and Beyond in the vast expanse of human history, the fascinating world of early human societies offers a unique glimpse into the evolution of social structures and their impact on human consciousness. As we journey back in time, we find ourselves in the heart of Africa, around 200,000 years ago, where the first Homo sapiens began to emerge. The social organization of these early humans began at the most basic level with kinship groups, where families and close relatives lived and worked harmoniously. This interconnectedness can reflect the universe's self-perception, with each individual contributing to the vast network of consciousness. As these communities expanded, clans emerged, uniting multiple families who claimed descent from a common ancestor. These clans were the building blocks of larger social structures, such as tribes. Tribes, larger than clans, brought together various clans under shared beliefs, customs, and collective identity. 
Sometimes, tribes evolved into chiefdoms, characterized by a centralized authority and hierarchical social structures. The head of chiefs often stemmed from lineage, charisma, or military prowess, and they held considerable power over resource distribution. The societies continued to develop. They eventually created more complex political structures, such as city-states, kingdoms, and empires. These political entities were characterized by even greater centralization of power and resources and more sophisticated systems of governance, administration, and law. The evolution of social structures from kinship groups to chiefdoms and beyond has profoundly impacted human consciousness, shaping our understanding of ourselves, our relationships with others, and our place in the world. A delicate balance, the organization and distribution of resources in human societies and the ethical implications. Resource organization and distribution have played a pivotal role in the development and sustainability of human societies throughout history. In hunter-gatherer societies, resources were generally shared among community members, with individuals contributing to the group's well-being through hunting, gathering, or other tasks. This collaborative approach to resource management is an early example of ethical scientific progress, promoting global harmony and interconnectedness. As societies grew and interacted with neighboring groups, competition for resources intensified. This led to the development of more complex social structures, such as chiefdoms, where a centralized authority controlled the distribution of resources. In these societies, the chief and their close associates wielded significant power, leading to social inequality and a greater concentration of wealth and resources among those in positions of power. This shift in resource management raises critical ethical questions about the distribution of wealth and power in past and present societies. By learning from historical and contemporary examples, we can better understand human nature's complexities and work towards creating a more equitable and harmonious world. Weaving the threads of human evolution, the role of social structures in human societies and the emergence of consciousness. Complex social structures have played a critical role in the growth and diversification of human societies throughout history. These structures fostered community cooperation and organization, enabling societies to manage resources more effectively, engage in trade, and defend their territory from external threats. Social structures also provided a framework for developing cultural practices and belief systems. Shared customs and values helped bind communities, creating a sense of collective identity. As societies evolved and interacted with neighboring groups, their social structures became more intricate and interdependent, setting the stage for the emergence of early civilizations and, eventually, the modern world. In the subsequent chapters, we will continue to delve into the world of human societies, exploring their rituals, spirituality, language, migration patterns, technological advancements, and more. By unraveling the secrets of these societies, we will uncover the threads that weave together the rich tapestry of human history and shed light on the origins of the world we live in today. The downstream effects of social structures on the modern world. The evolution of social structures from prehistory to the modern world has profoundly impacted how we live today. The development of complex political entities, such as city-states, kingdoms, and empires, has given rise to the modern nation-state, which continues to shape global politics, economics, and culture. The organization and distribution of resources in past societies have also influenced the modern world as we grapple with wealth and power distribution issues social inequality, and environmental sustainability. By examining the historical roots of these challenges, we can gain valuable insights into how to address them in the present and future. Chapter 4. Rituals, Ceremonies, Art, and Symbols, The Language of the Soul The cradle of civilization lay in the heart of the ancient world, nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. In the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia, it was here that the first seeds of human society took root. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the land, the people of this ancient world gathered around a roaring fire, their faces illuminated by the flickering flames. They had come together to celebrate the changing of the seasons, a time of renewal and rebirth, and to pay homage to the gods who governed their lives. The air was thick with the scent of burning herbs, their smoke spiraling upwards towards the heavens, carrying with it the prayers and offerings of the faithful. The rhythmic beat of drums echoed through the night, accompanied by the haunting melodies of flutes and lyres, as the tribe's shaman led them in a hypnotic dance. Their bodies swayed and twisted, their movements an intricate tapestry of symbolism and meaning, each gesture a word in the language of the soul. As the ceremony reached its crescendo, the shaman raised his arms to the sky, calling upon the gods to bless their people and ensure a bountiful harvest. The tribe's members followed suit, their voices joining together in a chorus of supplication, their hearts united in a shared belief in the power of the divine. In moments like these, the threads of prehistoric beliefs, hive psychology, and the universe's self-perception were woven together, creating a sacred web that connected the people of this ancient world to the cosmos and one another. Art and symbolism played a pivotal role in expressing the shared cultural values of prehistoric societies. In the caves of Las Cox, France, the walls were adorned with intricate paintings depicting the animals that roamed the land, their forms rendered with skill and precision that belied the primitive tools used to create them. 
These images were more than mere decoration. They were a testament to the tribe's reverence for the natural world and a window into the myths and beliefs that lay at the very heart of their culture. In the ancient city of Kadalhoya, located in modern-day Turkey, the people adorned their homes with elaborate frescoes and carvings, transforming their living spaces into sacred shrines. The walls were covered with images of bulls, leopards, and other animals, their forms intertwined with geometric patterns and abstract designs. These artistic expressions were early attempts to understand the complex interplay between physics, mathematics, neuroscience, and other disciplines that shape our perception of reality. By integrating the hive psychology hypothesis, we can also examine how the three categories of sociality, herds, packs, and hives, have influenced human societies throughout history. The social structures observed in these ancient tribes demonstrate how human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between these three social structures. In the vast plains of the African savanna, the tribes of the Sen people lived in harmony with the land, their lives governed by the rhythms of nature. They were a nomadic people, moving from place to place in search of food and water, their social structure resembling that of a herd. The tribe was bound together by a shared sense of identity and purpose, each member playing a vital role in the group's survival. In the dense forests of the Amazon, the tribes of the Yanomami people lived in small, partly knit communities, their lives centered around the pursuit of resources and the defense of their territory. Their social structure was reminiscent of a pack, with a clear hierarchy and division of labor, each member contributing to the group's success through their specialized skills and knowledge. In the fertile valleys of the Indus River, the people of the ancient Harapan civilization built sprawling cities, their lives governed by complex systems of governance and trade. Their social structure was akin to that of a hive, with each individual playing a specific role in the functioning of the larger society, their actions guided by a shared set of beliefs and values. As the sun rose over the ancient world, casting its golden light upon the land, the people of these diverse cultures went about their daily lives, their actions guided by the sacred web that connected them to the cosmos and one another. Through their rituals, ceremonies, art, and symbols, they wove the threads of prehistoric beliefs, hive psychology, and the universe's self-perception, creating a tapestry of meaning that spanned the ages and shaped the course of human history. The sacred web, a journey through time and space. As the millennia passed, the sacred web continued to evolve, its threads weaving their way through the tapestry of human history. From the ancient civilizations of Egypt and Mesopotamia to the empires of Rome and Greece, the language of the soul, the hive, and the universe found expression in these diverse cultures' rituals, ceremonies, art, and symbols. In the sun-drenched lands of Egypt, the people worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, their lives governed by the eternal cycle of the Nile. They built towering pyramids and grand temples, their walls adorned with intricate carvings and paintings that told the stories of their gods and their people. Through these artistic expressions, the Egyptians sought to understand the mysteries of the cosmos, their place within it, and their beliefs and values woven into the fabric of the sacred web. In the bustling cities of ancient Greece, the people gathered in grand amphitheaters to watch the performance of plays and recite epic poems, their stories filled with gods, heroes, and monsters. These tales were more than mere entertainment. They explored the human condition and the nature of the universe, their themes and motifs echoing the threads of prehistoric beliefs, hive psychology, and the universe's self-perception. In the heart of the Roman Empire, the people celebrated their gods and goddesses through elaborate ceremonies and festivals, their lives governed by a complex system of religious and social customs. They built grand temples and monuments, their walls adorned with intricate mosaics and frescoes that depicted scenes from their myths and legends. Through these artistic expressions, the Romans sought to understand the world around them, their place within it, and their beliefs and values woven into the fabric of the sacred web. As the centuries passed and the world continued to change, the sacred web evolved, its threads weaving their way through the tapestry of human history. From the rise of Christianity and Islam to the Age of Enlightenment and the dawn of the modern era, the language of the soul, the hive, and the universe found expression in the rituals, ceremonies, art, and symbols of these diverse cultures. In the soaring cathedrals of medieval Europe, the people gathered to worship their God, their lives governed by the teachings of the church. They built grand churches and monasteries, their walls adorned with intricate stained glass windows and paintings that told their faith stories. For these artistic expressions, the people of medieval Europe sought to understand the mysteries of the divine and their place within the cosmos. Their beliefs and values are woven into the fabric of the sacred web. In the bustling cities of the Islamic Golden Age, the people gathered in grand mosques to worship their God, their lives governed by the teachings of the Quran. They built grand mosques and libraries, their walls adorned with intricate geometric patterns and calligraphy that celebrated the beauty of their faith. Through these artistic expressions, the people of the Islamic Golden Age sought to understand the mysteries of the divine and their place within the cosmos. Their beliefs and values are woven into the fabric of the sacred web. As the world continued to change and the sacred web continued to evolve, the threads of prehistoric beliefs, hive psychology, and the universe's self-perception found expression in the rituals, ceremonies, art, and symbols of the modern era. From the rise of science and technology to the dawn of the digital age, the language of the soul, the hive, and the universe continues to shape our understanding of the world and our place within it.
weaving a tapestry of meaning that spans the ages and connects us all. The cosmic dance, belief systems as the architects of prehistoric societies and the universe's self-perception. Belief systems have long been the architects of human societies, shaping the foundations of our social structures, guiding our behaviors, and illuminating the path to understanding our place in the universe. In prehistoric cultures, religious and spiritual beliefs were interwoven with daily life, deeply rooted in the natural world and the cosmic order. These belief systems can be seen as early manifestations of the universe's self-perception, with humans acting as agents of consciousness in a vast, interconnected web of existence. The belief systems of prehistoric tribes influenced their perceptions of life, death, and the intricate dance of the cosmos. Moreover, they played a vital role in fostering social cohesion, as shared beliefs and values united communities and forged a collective identity that transcended time and space, nature, fertility, and the afterlife, the eternal triad of prehistoric beliefs and the universe's self-perception. At the core of prehistoric belief systems lay an eternal triad, the natural world, fertility, and the afterlife. Nature was revered as a source of sustenance, power, and mystery, with deities or spirits embodying various aspects of the earth, sky, and waters. Fertility, the life-giving force, was paramount to the survival of prehistoric tribes, ensuring the continuity of their lineage and the prosperity of their communities. Thus, fertility rituals and ceremonies permeated the fabric of their lives. The concept of the afterlife held a central place in the hearts and minds of prehistoric societies, offering solace and a sense of continuity beyond the material realm. Prehistoric tribes devised complex rituals and ceremonies to honor the dead and ensure their safe passage to the afterlife, reflecting their deep-rooted belief in the interconnectedness of life, death, and the cosmos. The evolution of belief systems and the sacred web, from prehistoric tribes to modern societies. As human societies evolved and expanded, so did their belief systems and the sacred web connecting them to the cosmos. The rise of agriculture, the development of written language, and the emergence of complex social structures led to the diversification and elaboration of religious and spiritual beliefs and the establishment of organized religions. Throughout history, the sacred web has continued to evolve adapting to human society's changing needs and circumstances. The emergence of monotheistic religions, such as Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, marked a significant shift in the nature of the sacred web as the focus shifted from the pantheon of gods and goddesses to a single, all-powerful deity. In the modern era, the sacred web has continued to evolve, with new belief systems and spiritual practices emerging in response to the challenges and opportunities of the contemporary world. The rise of secularism, the resurgence of indigenous spiritual traditions, and the growing interest in Eastern philosophies and practices all reflect the ongoing evolution of the sacred web and the universe's self-perception. The sacred web and the challenges of the modern world, the quest for harmony, understanding, and a sustainable future. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, we can draw inspiration from the wisdom of the past and the insights of visionaries who have sought to understand the sacred web and its implications for human society. By weaving the threads of ancient beliefs, hive psychology, and the universe's self-perception into a tapestry of meaning that spans the ages, we can forge a new path towards global harmony, understanding, and a sustainable future for all. In this quest, we can look to the examples of historical figures who have embodied the principles of the sacred web and sought to create a more just and harmonious world. From the nonviolent resistance of Mahatma Gandhi to the civil rights activism of Martin Luther King Jr., these individuals have demonstrated the power of the sacred web to unite people in the pursuit of a common goal. As we face the challenges of the modern world, let us remember that the sacred web connects us all, transcending time and space and speaking to the very essence of what it means to be human. By embracing the power of the sacred web, we can weave a new chapter in the story of humanity that honors the wisdom of the past while charting a bold new course towards a brighter, more connected, and more sustainable future for all. Chapter 5. The Pursuit of Happiness, From Ancient Civilizations to the Modern World the cradle of civilization lay in the heart of the ancient world, nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The Sumerians, who thrived in Mesopotamia around 45 BCE, were among the first to develop a complex society. Their archaeological symphonies are abundant with artifacts that serve as the notes and chords of their culture. Stone tools, pottery, bones, seeds, paintings, carvings, and burials offer glimpses into their lives, skills, and beliefs. These remnants reveal the complexity and interconnectedness of prehistoric societies, demonstrating their mastery of tool crafting, art creation, and resource management. Throughout history, various tribes and cultures have interacted with one another, often adopting and adapting aspects of each other's ways of life through mimesis. Some cultures were more tempted by luxury, status, and comfort, while others maintained a more straightforward, sustainable way of life. The tipping point, over which more insidiously becomes gluttony, can be observed in advertising and commodity trade advancement. As we understand it today, the pursuit of happiness is a relatively modern concept. In ancient Greece, Socrates was the first to identify happiness as a natural human desire. His idea of happiness was centered around self-questioning and recognizing the reality of an unseen world beyond the physical realm. 
Plato, Socrates' famous protege, expanded on this concept by proposing the existence of ideas that represent the ultimate essence of things like beauty, truth, and justice. The Greeks also had two gods, Apollo and Dionysus, representing humans' rational, logical part and the instinctive, animalistic side, respectively. Many of our conflicts stem from the opposing forces of these two aspects of our nature. Plato's philosophy still informs our understanding of truth in the realms of religion and science, which both seek to discover objective truths beyond subjective experience. On the other hand, people who prioritize subjective truth turn to their feelings as evidence, often resulting in clashes with proponents of objective truth. In the context of relationships and attraction, Plato believed that we should elevate our perspective from individual attraction to a general appreciation of beauty or other qualities, ultimately contemplating the idea of beauty itself. This approach can help us recognize and appreciate positive qualities in others, but it may not necessarily make us happier. In summary, the history of pursuing happiness is rooted in ancient Greek philosophy, with concepts like self-questioning, the recognition of an unseen world, and the balance between our rational and instinctive natures playing key roles. The Sumerians, Harapan culture, Minoans, Egyptians, Romans, Druids, Maya, and Anasazi all contributed unique blends of art, architecture, and technology to our collective understanding of the universe and our place within it. Each culture's material culture offers a window into their lives, beliefs, and challenges. In the modern world, we can learn from the past and reflect on the interconnectedness of our world. By increasing our sovereignty and growing our sense-making, we can better navigate the complexities of our world and make more informed decisions. As we learn from the past and reflect on the interconnectedness of our world, we can work towards fostering a more harmonious, sustainable, and conscious future. As we delve deeper into the material culture of these ancient civilizations, we can begin to appreciate the intricate maladies that make up the symphony of human history. Each culture's unique blend of art, architecture, and technology contributes to our collective understanding of the universe and our place within it. By studying the material culture of these ancient societies, we can gain insights into their collective consciousness and the factors that shape their development. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past, we can learn valuable lessons about the interconnectedness of our world and the importance of fostering a more harmonious, sustainable, and conscious future. In the modern world, we face many of our ancestors' challenges, broken information ecology and sense-making, collective intelligence. Simplifying information versus empowering people and developing attention and cognitive capacity are all issues that societies throughout history have faced. By increasing our sovereignty and growing our sense-making, we can better navigate the complexities of our world and make more informed decisions. As we learn from the past and reflect on the interconnectedness of our world, we can work towards fostering a more harmonious, sustainable, and conscious future. Chapter 6 The Natufians of the Levant and the Echoes of Their Legacy in the Modern World in the heart of the Levant, a region that today encompasses Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, and parts of Syria, the Natufian culture thrived between approximately 15,000 and 11,500 years ago. This period, known as the Epipaleolithic Era, marked the end of the last Ice Age and the beginning of the Holocene Epoch. As the ice receded, the region became a more hospitable environment, ripe for human settlement. The Natufians were pioneers, embracing one of the first sedentary societies, establishing permanent settlements, and venturing into plant cultivation and animal domestication. Their cultural practices and way of life offer invaluable insights into the transition from nomadic to sedentary lifestyles and evolved in response to their changing environment and social structures. The name Natufian is derived from the Arabic term Wadi and Natuf, which refers to a valley in the region where the first Natufian remains were discovered. The Natufians are believed to have descended from local hunter-gatherer tribes that inhabited the Levant during the Upper Paleolithic period. Their lineage can be traced back to the Keberan and Mashabian cultures, characterized by their microlithic tools and nomadic lifestyles. In a celestial waltz, the forces of nature conspired to guide the Natufians towards a new path, the transition from nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyles to sedentary agricultural societies. They built permanent settlements, such as the enchanting site of Ain Malah, which allowed them to harness the rich resources of the Levant. With the divine guidance of deities associated with growth and sustenance, the Natufians cultivated wild cereals like barley and wheat and domesticated animals such as gazelles, sheep, and goats. This development of agriculture and animal husbandry empowered the Natufians to support more prominent, more stable populations, laying the foundation for the emergence of more complex societies in the region. The Natufians' agricultural revolution can be understood through interdisciplinary knowledge, drawing from physics, mathematics, neuroscience, and AI. For instance, spike nodes in neural networks can be applied to the Natufians' social structures as their communities become more interconnected and complex. Additionally, the proposed mechanism of perception in the human brain can be explored through the lens of the Natufians' evolving consciousness as they adapted to their new way of life. The Natufian society witnessed a harmonious symphony of complex social structures, echoing the influence of the divine. 
This divine inspiration is evident in the organization of their settlements, the division of labor, and the distribution of resources. Their communities centered around communal structures and engaged in various tasks such as food processing, tool production, and art creation. While the belief systems of the Natufians remain shrouded in mystery, their material culture, including art, artifacts, and burial practices, offers tantalizing glimpses into their spiritual world. They crafted intricate stone and bone tools and decorative items like beads and pendants, perhaps guided by the hands of artistic deities. The Natufians also practiced elaborate burial rituals, often interring the deceased with grave goods, which suggests a belief in an afterlife and a concern for the well-being of the departed, overseen by gods of the afterlife. As we delve deeper into the material culture of the Natufians, we can begin to appreciate the intricate maladies that make up the symphony of human history. Each culture's unique blend of art, architecture, and technology contributes to our collective understanding of the universe and our place within it. By studying the material culture of these ancient societies, we can gain insights into their collective consciousness and the factors that shape their development. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past, we can learn valuable lessons about the interconnectedness of our world and the importance of fostering a more harmonious, sustainable, and conscious future. Throughout history, various tribes and cultures have interacted with one another, often adopting and adapting aspects of each other's ways of life through mimesis. Some cultures were more tempted by luxury, status, and comfort, while others maintained a more straightforward, sustainable way of life. The tipping point, over which more insidiously becomes gluttony, can be observed in advertising and commodity trade advancement. In the modern world, we face many of our ancestors' challenges, broken information ecology and sense-making, collective intelligence, simplifying information versus empowering people, and developing attention and cognitive capacity are all issues that societies throughout history have faced. By increasing our sovereignty and growing our sense-making, we can better navigate the complexities of our world and make more informed decisions. As we learn from the past and reflect on the interconnectedness of our world, we can work towards fostering a more harmonious, sustainable, and conscious future. The Natufian's influence can be seen in the subsequent cultures that emerged in the Levant, such as the pre-Pottery Neolithic and pre-Pottery Neolithic B cultures. These societies continued to develop agriculture, animal husbandry, and complex social structures, eventually giving rise to the first urban settlements and the birth of civilization in the region. Today, the descendants of the Natufians can be found among the diverse populations of the Levant, including the modern-day inhabitants of Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. Their legacy serves as a reminder of the potential for humanity to function efficiently and harmoniously, inspiring readers to join the global effort towards a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future. So, the Natufians and their role in shaping human history emphasized holistically approaching science, technology, culture, and religion with a sense of responsibility. We can employ our discoveries and innovations to better all humanity and promote global harmony and interconnectedness. As we continue to explore the depths of human history and the intricacies of our ancestors' lives, we must remember the lessons they have taught us. The Natufians and other prehistoric societies have shown us the power of collaboration, adaptation, and the pursuit of knowledge. By embracing these principles and incorporating interdisciplinary approaches, we can unlock new insights into the human experience and our place within the universe. In the spirit of the Natufians and their cosmic symphony of interconnectedness, let us strive to create a world where science, technology, culture, and religion work harmoniously to foster understanding, compassion, and unity. By doing so, we can ensure a brighter future for all, guided by the wisdom of our ancestors and the innovative spirit of our collective consciousness. Chapter 7 When divinities grace the land of the rising sun, the Jomon of Japan and their enigmatic beliefs, the geographical and historical tapestry of the Jomon, a reflection of the universe's self-perception. Picture Japan's lush landscapes, adorned with ancient settlements from thousands of years ago, the Jomon culture flourished in this mystical land from around 14,000 BC to 300 BC, embodying the innovative theory of consciousness as a reflection of the universe's self-perception. Jomon, meaning cord marked, refers to the intricate cord-like patterns that decorated their distinctive pottery. The Jomon people lived during a remarkable environmental change, as Japan underwent a series of climatic shifts sea level fluctuations, and vegetation transformations. These changes can be seen as the universe's way of perceiving itself, with the Jomon culture adapting and evolving in response to the ever-changing environment. The Jomans dance with nature, a hunter-gatherer lifestyle and the dawn of agriculture as an interdisciplinary knowledge. Deeply connected with nature, the Jomon people subsisted on hunting, fishing, and gathering wild plants. However, they also embraced the early whispers of agriculture, cultivating crops like millet and tubers. This delicate balance between hunting and farming allowed the Jomon people to support relatively dense populations and develop complex societies. Their lifestyle can be seen as an example of interdisciplinary knowledge, combining elements of ecology, botany, and animal husbandry to create a sustainable and harmonious way of life. 
the social fabric, ethereal beliefs, and material culture of the Jomon, a divine encounter and personal experiences. The social fabric of the Jomon people was woven through their settlement patterns, consisting of small, semi-permanent villages. Jomon society likely centered around kinship groups, with cooperation and resource sharing as the threads that bound their communities together. The Jomon's belief systems, shrouded in an air of mystery, are deeply rooted in nature and animistic beliefs. Imagine divine spirits, personified as gods, inhabiting ancient Japan's lush forests, mighty rivers, and rugged mountains, guiding and protecting the Jomon people. Their material culture, marked by their exquisite pottery, also featured enigmatic figurines known as dogu, which may have served as conduits to the divine realm, playing a significant role in their rituals and religious practices. As the Jomon people navigated the ever-changing landscapes of ancient Japan, they found solace and guidance in embracing the divine, reflecting their deep connection with the natural world and the ethereal forces that shaped their lives. This connection parallels the hive's journey in understanding the universe and our place within it, emphasizing the importance of collaboration, open-mindedness, and ethical principles in pursuing knowledge and innovation. The Jomon's legacy, echoes of their wisdom in the modern world. The Jomon culture's influence can still be felt today, as their descendants continue to inhabit the Japanese archipelago. Their deep connection with nature and the environment and their ability to adapt and innovate serve as valuable lessons for modern societies grappling with the challenges of climate change, resource scarcity, and rapid technological advancements. In today's world, we face many of the same challenges that confronted the Jomon people. The need for interdisciplinary knowledge, collaboration, and resource sharing has never been more critical. By learning from the Jomon's example, we can better understand the importance of striking a balance between competition and cooperation, drawing from the hive psychology hypothesis towards a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future. The role of science, technology, culture, and religion. The Jomon culture reminds us of the intricate interplay between science, technology, culture, and religion in shaping our understanding of the world and our position within it. By embracing interdisciplinary knowledge, personal experiences, and ethical principles, we can work towards a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future for all. As we learn from the Jomon culture, it is crucial to recognize the importance of striking a balance between competition and cooperation, drawing from the hive psychology hypothesis. Throughout history, human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between different social structures, such as herds, packs, and hives. By understanding and embracing these dynamics, we can strive to create societies that foster both individual growth and collective well-being. Chapter 8. The Clovis of North America, a serendipitous discovery. The origins and significance of the Clovis culture. Once upon a time, in the quaint town of Clovis, New Mexico, a seemingly inconsequential yet groundbreaking discovery was made, unique spear points that would define an entire culture. The Clovis people roamed the lands of North America from approximately 13,000 to 12,600 years ago, during the twilight years of the last ice age. As adept big game hunters and presumed pioneers among the first human inhabitants of the Americas, the Clovis left an indelible mark on the continent and our understanding of early human history, and the vast network of human history, that was a point at which the universe's self-awareness was heightened through the ingenuity and adaptability of these early humans, their ability to navigate the challenges of their environment and develop innovative tools and strategies for survival can be seen as a reflection of the universe's capacity for self-perception and growth. The Clovis culture emerged when the world vastly differed from what we know today. The Earth was in the throes of the last ice age, with massive glaciers covering much of the northern hemisphere. The climate was harsh and unforgiving, with frigid temperatures and unpredictable weather patterns. Yet, amidst these challenging conditions, the Clovis people survived and thrived. As the ice sheets began to recede, new landscapes were revealed, teeming with life and resources. The Clovis people, ever adaptable, seized upon these opportunities and expanded their range across the continent. They ventured into present-day Canada, the United States, and even as far south as Central America. Along the way, they encountered diverse ecosystems, from the tundra of the Arctic to the lush wetlands of the American Southeast. The saga of Ice Age adaptability, the nomadic lifestyle of the Clovis people, in a world where mammoths and bison roamed the landscape, the Clovis people adapted to their surroundings with remarkable skill and flexibility. As nomadic hunter-gatherers, they traversed diverse terrains, from dense forests to sprawling grasslands. These intrepid travelers relied on their prowess in hunting large mammals. Their sustenance and survival were intrinsically linked to the success of their expeditions. The Clovis people were constantly on the move, following the migratory patterns of the large mammals they hunted. They were masters of their environment, able to read the subtle signs of the landscape and anticipate the movements of their prey. Their nomadic lifestyle required them to be resourceful and adaptable, as they had to make do with whatever materials were available to them in each new location. One of the most iconic symbols of the Clovis culture is the Clovis Point, a distinctive spear point found at numerous archaeological sites across North America. These finely crafted stone tools were used for hunting large mammals, such as mammoths and bison, and their widespread distribution attests to the extensive range and mobility of the Clovis people. 
the clubber's point is a marvel of engineering, with a fluted design that allowed it to be easily attached to a wooden shaft. The sharp, bifacial edges of the point were ideal for penetrating the thick hides of large mammals, while the fluted base ensured that the spear would remain lodged in the animal's flesh, causing maximum damage and ensuring a swift kill. Of kinship and mystery, social structures, beliefs, and material culture of the Clovis. Imagine a society bound together by ties of kinship and shared experiences, moving through an ever-changing world as a cohesive unit. The Clovis people were likely organized into small, mobile bands of related individuals, their social structures as adaptable as their way of life. Delving into the beliefs and rituals of the Clovis proves to be an enigmatic endeavor, as the scarcity of ceremonial or religious artifacts leaves much speculation. Yet, their innovative stone tools, epitomized by the iconic Clovis point, stand as a testament to their material culture and ingenuity. These distinctive artifacts serve as key identifiers of their presence in the archaeological record, painting a vivid picture of resilient and resourceful people who once thrived in the challenging landscape of prehistoric North America. By incorporating personal experiences and anecdotes, the hive invites readers to engage with the story of the Clovis on a deeper level, fostering a sense of connection and empathy with these early humans. The study of the Clovis culture highlights the importance of collaboration, open-mindedness, and ethical principles in pursuing knowledge and innovation. We can learn valuable lessons from the Clovis people's adaptability and resilience by challenging our assumptions and biases and working together to construct a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the world. Throughout global history, human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between three social structures, herds, packs, and hives, as exemplified by the Clovis people. These structures manifest in how humans interact with one another and their environment, revealing the complex interplay between individual and group dynamics that shape the universe's self-perception. For instance, during times of peace, societies may lean towards a hive-like structure, with a greater focus on cooperation and division of labor, as the Clovis people demonstrated through their kinship-based organization. In contrast, societies may adopt more pack-like behaviors during conflict or resource scarcity, emphasizing competition and self-preservation. The Clovis culture also serves as a case study for understanding the power of synchrony and cooperation in human societies. By working together and moving as a cohesive unit, the Clovis people overcame the challenges of their environment and thrived in a world of uncertainty and danger. The world beyond the Clovis, a glimpse into the global context. While the Clovis people were making their mark on the North American continent, the world beyond was also undergoing significant changes. In Europe, the Magdalenian culture flourished, creating intricate cave paintings and carvings that continue to captivate us today. Meanwhile, in Asia, the Jomon people of Japan were developing pottery and cultivating plants, laying the groundwork for the rise of agriculture. As the Clovis people ventured further south, they would have encountered other early human cultures, such as the Monteverde people in present-day Chile. These interactions would have led to the exchange ideas, technologies, and genetic material, further shaping human history. The story of the Clovis people is but one thread in the rich tapestry of our shared past. By examining their lives and achievements, we gain a deeper understanding of the human experience and our place in the cosmos. A legacy of the Clovis, lessons for the modern world. The tale of the Clovis people serves as a powerful reminder of the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. In the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges, they forged a path through an unforgiving world, impacting the landscape and our understanding of early human history. Today, we face many of the same challenges that confronted the Clovis people. Climate change, resource scarcity, and rapid technological advancements are just a few issues modern societies must grapple with. By looking to the past, we can draw inspiration from the Clovis people's adaptability and resourcefulness, applying these lessons to our lives and communities. For example, the Clovis people's ability to adapt to diverse ecosystems and changing environmental conditions can serve as a model for modern societies as we confront the impacts of climate change. By living in harmony with our environment and making the most of the available resources, we can build more resilient and sustainable communities. The Clovis people's innovative stone tools, such as the Clovis Point, also offer valuable insights into the importance of technological advancements in shaping human history. As we continue to develop new technologies and push the boundaries of human knowledge, we must remain mindful of the ethical implications of our actions and strive to use our innovations for the betterment of all. Furthermore, the Clovis people's social structures, based on kinship and cooperation, can guide modern societies as we navigate the complexities of globalization and interconnectedness. We can build more cohesive and harmonious communities by fostering solid social bonds and working together to overcome shared challenges. Chapter 9. The Yongshao of China the enigmatic origins of the Yongshao, China's earliest agricultural society. In the fertile lands surrounding the Yellow River, an ancient civilization emerged around 5000 BC, weaving the very fabric of China's history. The Yongshao culture, as it would come to be known, blossomed in these lands, cultivating not only the soil but the foundations of Chinese civilization itself. This remarkable society can be seen as a reflection of the universe's self-perception, a microcosm of the intricate interplay between matter, energy, and consciousness that shapes our reality. 
the Yanshao culture's emergence and development laid the groundwork for the complex tapestry of Chinese history, with its myriad dynasties, philosophies, and innovations. As we explore the Yanshao's legacy, we can trace the threads of their influence through the ages, revealing the interconnectedness of human experience and the enduring lessons of our shared past. Sowing the seeds of progress, the agricultural innovations of the Yongshao, and the interconnectedness of knowledge. The Yongshao people, ever resourceful, tilled the land and nurtured the seeds of progress. Millet, their primary crop, became the cornerstone of their society, providing sustenance and stability. Like doting parents, they also domesticated pigs and dogs, nurturing their relationship with these animals for the mutual benefit of both species. Through these agricultural practices, the Yongshao people could lay down roots, constructing permanent settlements and weaving together the threads of their complex society. Their agricultural innovations are an early example of the interconnectedness of knowledge, drawing upon insights from various fields such as biology, ecology, and meteorology. This interdisciplinary approach to problem solving is a testament to the power of collaboration and open-mindedness, which are essential for the ethical advancement of science and technology. The Yongshao's agricultural achievements laid the foundation for the development of Chinese civilization, with its sophisticated systems of governance, education, and commerce. As the centuries unfolded, the seeds of progress sown by the Yongshao would continue to bear fruit, shaping the course of Chinese history and influencing the wider world. For instance, the Yongshao's agricultural practices contributed to the development of the Silk Road, a vast network of trade routes that connected China with the Mediterranean world. This exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies facilitated the spread of Chinese innovations, such as papermaking, gunpowder, and the compass, which would profoundly impact global history, unraveling the mysteries of the Yanshao, social structures, beliefs, and artistic expression as a reflection of cosmic consciousness. The tapestry of Yanshao society was woven with threads of egalitarianism and community, forming village-based communities where cooperation and unity were celebrated. Their beliefs, too, were a rich tapestry, interweaving ancestor worship with a deep reverence for the natural world. The Yongshao people held the afterlife in high esteem, as evidenced by their ritual burials and the inclusion of grave goods to accompany the deceased on their journey beyond. The Yongshao people also left their mark on history through their artistic endeavors. Their painted pottery, a kaleidoscope of geometric designs and stylized depictions of animals and humans, reflected the vibrant hues of their culture. These masterful artisans also crafted various stone tools, such as axes and chisels, vital to their agricultural and construction endeavors. As we delve into the mysteries of the Yanshao culture, we uncover a rich tapestry of agricultural innovation, social harmony, and spiritual reverence. In exploring the legacy of this ancient civilization, we can begin to understand the threads that connect our past to our present weaving together the intricate story of human history. The Yanshao's emphasis on community and cooperation can be seen as a precursor to the development of Confucianism, a philosophical system that has shaped Chinese society for over two millennia. Confucius, who lived during the 6th century BC, advocated for a harmonious social order based on respect for authority, filial piety, and the cultivation of moral virtues. The Confucian ideal of a well-ordered society, where individuals work together for the common good, can be traced back to the egalitarian principles of the Yanshao culture. The Yanshao's legacy in modern China, continuity and change in the face of globalization. As we trace the threads of the Yanshao's influence through the ages, we can see their enduring impact on modern China. The values of community, cooperation, and reverence for the natural world continue to shape Chinese society, even as it grapples with the challenges of globalization and rapid technological change. In recent decades, China has emerged as a global superpower, with a booming economy and a growing influence on the world stage. This meteoric rise has been fueled, in part, by the country's ability to adapt and innovate, drawing on the lessons of its ancient past while embracing the opportunities of the present. The Chinese Communist Party, which has governed the country since 1949, has sought to balance the preservation of traditional Chinese culture with the demands of modernization. This delicate balancing act can be seen in the CCP's promotion of Confucian values, which emphasize social harmony and respect for authority, as well as its efforts to modernize the country's agricultural sector, building on the Yanshao's legacy of innovation and resourcefulness. However, the challenges of modernization have also led to tensions within Chinese society, as the country grapples with issues such as income inequality, environmental degradation, and the erosion of traditional values. In this context, the lessons of the Yanshao culture, emphasizing community, cooperation, and reverence for the natural world, offer a valuable blueprint for navigating the complexities of the modern world. The Yongchao culture echoes the harmonious melodies of an ancient society that sought unity, cooperation, and balance with nature. As we journey through the annals of Chinese history, the Yongchao story reverberates across time, reminding us of the wisdom woven into the tapestry of their civilization. Today, as we face a world of rapid globalization and technological advancements, the Yongchao's lessons call out like a chorus of truth to the hearts of the global community. We must heed their message of kinship, respect for the natural world, and the power of collaboration. 
for as the times change and the old order fades, we stand at the threshold of a new era with the potential to create a more sustainable, harmonious, and compassionate world. The Yonchao culture offers a unique lens through which to view the innovative theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception and the interconnectedness of knowledge, personal experiences, and morality. In the spirit of a cosmic tapestry, let us come together like the Yonchao people, as brothers and sisters, to embrace the winds of change and navigate the challenges that lie ahead. May we draw from their wisdom, celebrate the beauty of cultural diversity, and forge a global community guided by the values of understanding, respect, and unity. As the times are changing, we must rise to the call, embracing the lessons of our shared past to shape a brighter and more inclusive future. Let us remember the lessons of the Yon Chao as we unravel the mysteries of the universe and our place within it to better understanding the complex nature of human societies throughout history. The emergence of cooperation and competition, and the role of consciousness in shaping human experiences. The Yon Chao culture is a powerful reminder of our collective capacity for growth, collaboration, and innovation while underscoring the importance of humility and personal responsibility. To the times they are changing, and together, inspired by the wisdom of the Yon Chao, we can build a world that celebrates our interconnectedness, our shared humanity, and our boundless potential for growth and positive change. Chapter 10 Climate Symphony Directing Human Adaptability and Migration Throughout the Earth's history, the climate has acted as a compelling maestro, conducting the symphony of human evolution and migration, as our planet has undergone cycles of warmth and cold. Prehistoric communities have displayed remarkable resilience and resourcefulness, adapting to the environmental hurdles they encountered. These climatic fluctuations steered the development and mobility of human societies, with advancements in agriculture, technology, and social structures harmoniously contributing to the intricate composition of human progress, notable climate periods in history and their impact on human societies. The last glacial maximum marked the peak of the last ice age, with large ice sheets covering significant portions of the Earth's surface. In this period, humans were primarily hunter-gatherers, and tribes such as the Clovis people adapted to the harsh environment by developing specialized tools like the Clovis Point for hunting large game animals like mammoths. The bowling alarod interstadial was characterized by a rapid warming trend after the last glacial maximum, which significantly impacted the Clovis people. As the ice sheets receded and the climate became warmer, they had to adapt their hunting strategies and began to disperse across the North American continent. The Younger Dryers was a sudden return to near glacial conditions after the bowling alarod interstadial. This period put significant stress on human societies, leading to the decline of the Clovis culture. The Holocene epoch marks the end of the last ice age and encompasses various fluctuations in climate. The German people of Japan navigated these changes, experiencing warm and cold periods. This forced them to adapt by developing sophisticated pottery and fishing techniques to ensure survival. Throughout history, there have been numerous instances of climate change affecting human societies. Warmer periods, such as the medieval warm period, were generally marked by increased agricultural productivity and population growth. However, they also coincided with territorial disputes and conflicts as people sought to expand their resources. Conversely, cooler periods like the Little Ice Age saw decreased agricultural productivity and widespread famines, which led to social unrest and, in some cases, war. For example, the cooling climate has been linked to the onset of the French Revolution, as food shortages and economic hardship played a significant role in the uprising. Paleoclimatologists study the Earth's climate history by examining proxy records, such as ice cores, tree rings, and sediment layers. These proxies provide information about past temperature fluctuations, precipitation patterns, and other climatic variables. Historical records, including written accounts and artistic depictions, can also offer insights into the climate conditions and their effects on human societies. In conclusion, climate change has profoundly impacted human societies throughout history. The Clovis and German peoples are just two examples of tribes that had to adapt to the changing climate, but there are many other instances of societies facing similar challenges. Understanding how past human societies navigated climate change can provide valuable lessons for modern societies as we confront the challenges of the 21st century. Chapter 11, The Crucible and the Genesis of Civilizations, The Interconnectedness of Knowledge and Values. The transformation from prehistoric tribal societies to early civilizations was catalyzed by numerous factors and processes, including the groundbreaking theory of consciousness as a reflection of the universe's self-perception. Pioneering advancements in agriculture, technology, and social organization laid the foundation for the gradual emergence of complex societies and states. These prehistoric tribes bequeathed their amassed knowledge, skills, and values to the civilizations that succeeded them. The interconnectedness of these disciplines and their potential to contribute to a profound understanding of the universe and our role within it is evident in the evolution of early civilizations. One example of the downstream effects of this interconnectedness on modern societies can be seen in the Chinese Communist Party's efforts to balance preserving traditional Chinese culture with the demands of modernization. 
the CCP has sought to promote Confucian values, emphasizing social harmony and respect for authority while modernizing the country's agricultural sector, building on the legacy of innovation and resourcefulness of prehistoric tribes. However, the challenges of modernization have also led to tensions within Chinese society, as the country grapples with issues such as income inequality, environmental degradation, and the erosion of traditional values. Echoes of the ancestors, the enduring legacy of prehistoric tribes and the ethical principles they upheld, the influence of prehistoric tribes reverberated through early civilizations, molding their social structures, belief systems, and material culture. Despite the passage of time and the emergence of novel ways of life, elements of continuity persisted, forging links between the past and the present. This enduring legacy serves as a testament to the tenacity and adaptability of human societies as they endeavored to surmount the challenges of their environments and chart new paths. The ethical principles championed by these tribes, such as collaboration, open-mindedness, and reverence for the natural world, continue to inspire us today as we strive for global harmony and interconnectedness. In the modern world, we can see the influence of these ethical principles in various aspects of society. For instance, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals emphasize the importance of collaboration, open-mindedness, and respect for the environment in addressing global challenges such as poverty, inequality, and climate change. The SDGs serve as a roadmap for countries to work together in pursuit of a more sustainable and equitable future, drawing on the lessons of prehistoric tribes and their emphasis on cooperation and adaptability. Unearthing the roots, the importance of studying prehistoric tribes for understanding early civilizations and the conscious universe. Delving into the study of prehistoric tribes offers invaluable insights into the origins and development of early civilizations and the groundbreaking theory of consciousness as a reflection of the universe's self-perception. By scrutinizing the factors that influence the transformation of these ancient communities, we can better comprehend the processes that led to the emergence of complex societies and the role of consciousness in shaping human history. The study of ancient Egyptian civilization reveals the influence of prehistoric Nile Valley tribes on the development of agriculture, technology, and social organization which in turn contributed to the emergence of one of the world's most enduring and influential civilizations. The ethical pursuit of knowledge, collaboration, open-mindedness, and transparency in scientific inquiry. As we continue to explore the connections between prehistoric tribes, early civilizations, and the conscious universe, we must emphasize the importance of collaboration, open-mindedness, and ethical principles in pursuing knowledge and innovation. Addressing the issue of publication bias in various domains of science and advocating for a more open and collaborative approach to scientific inquiry that accentuates transparency and rigor is crucial for advancing human understanding. Humanity's potential for harmony, the interplay of science, technology, culture, and religion. The intricate interplay between science, technology, culture, and religion has shaped our understanding of the world and our position within it. By exploring these connections and embracing the ethical principles that underpin them, we can unlock humanity's potential to function efficiently and harmoniously. In the modern world, we can see the influence of this interplay in various aspects of society. For example, the rise of the internet and social media has facilitated the rapid exchange of ideas and information across cultural and geographic boundaries, fostering greater understanding and collaboration among people from diverse backgrounds. At the same time, the increasing interconnectedness of the world has also highlighted the importance of respecting and preserving cultural diversity and the need for mutual understanding and respect in our increasingly globalized society. The role of Haight's Hive Psychology Hypothesis in Understanding Human Nature and Consciousness Jonathan Haight's Hive Psychology Hypothesis posits that human nature comprises 90% chimp-like behavior and 10% bee-like behavior. By examining this hypothesis in the context of global history and interactions, we can develop a more comprehensive understanding of human nature and consciousness. The expanded hypothesis proposes that the universe perceives itself through various programs consisting of three types of particles and their mirrors, potentially giving rise to consciousness. In this context, Human consciousness and behavior emerge from the interplay between individual and group dynamics, contributing to the universe's self-perception. Throughout history, human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between three social structures, herds, packs, and hives, and how they manifest in human societies. Now we can deepen our understanding of the evolution of societies, the emergence of cooperation and competition, and the role of consciousness in shaping human experiences throughout history. For example, the rise of modern democracies can be seen as an expression of the hive-like cooperation that has characterized human societies throughout history. In a democracy, individuals come together to make collective decisions for the common good, emphasizing the importance of cooperation and collaboration in achieving shared goals. This stands in contrast to more hierarchical and authoritarian forms of government, which may be more reflective of the pack-like or herd-like social structures that have also been present in human history. Lessons from History The Dangers of Utopianism and the Importance of Humility and Personal Responsibility 
the study of history, particularly the atrocities committed under communist regimes, highlights the dangers of utopianism and the importance of humility and personal responsibility. The belief in a perfect future society can be used to justify any means necessary to reach that goal, including mass suffering and oppression. By learning from the past and acknowledging the inherent inequality that exists in reality, we can strive for a more balanced and ethical approach to societal development. In the modern world, we can see the dangers of utopianism in various forms, such as the pursuit of technological solutions to complex social and environmental problems without considering the potential unintended consequences. For example, the development of genetically modified organisms has been hailed as a solution to global food insecurity. Still, concerns have been raised about the potential impacts on biodiversity, human health, and the livelihoods of small-scale farmers. Chapter 12. The Dawn of Trade and Exchange The Birth of Trade and Exchange in Prehistoric Societies The Emergence of Trade and exchange networks in prehistoric societies can be seen as a manifestation of the universe's self-perception. As tribes began to settle and develop, they needed resources not always available in their immediate surroundings. This necessity sparked the emergence of trade and exchange networks, which allowed tribes to acquire essential goods and materials from their neighbors. Various factors, such as the availability of resources, the desire for prestige, and the establishment of alliances, influenced these networks. As tribes began to interact and exchange goods, they also exchanged ideas, technologies, and cultural practices, paving the way for developing more complex societies. This interconnectedness is a fundamental aspect of the universe, as demonstrated by the interdisciplinary knowledge that spans fields such as physics, mathematics, neuroscience, clinical psychology, and artificial intelligence. By understanding the complex web of connections that underpin trade and exchange networks, we can gain insights into the nature of consciousness and the universe's self-perception. A Timeline of Trade and Exchange The Evolution of Global Interconnectedness Throughout history, various communities worldwide became aware of one another, visited, socialized, developed common forms of trade, and established trade routes. This timeline highlights some key moments in the evolution of trade and exchange. 150,000 BCE Early humans began to trade resources such as stone tools and food within their local communities. 12,000 BCE The first long-distance trade routes emerged, connecting tribes across vast distances and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and people. 5000 BC, the Sumerians developed the first known system of writing, which facilitated record keeping and communication in trade. 3000 BC, the ancient Egyptians established trade routes across the Mediterranean and the Red Sea, connecting them with other regional civilizations. 2000 BC, the Indus Valley civilization developed a sophisticated system of weights and measures, facilitating trade and exchange. 1200 BC, the Phoenicians, renowned for their seafaring skills, established trade routes throughout the Mediterranean, connecting various civilizations and fostering the exchange of goods and ideas. 500 BC, the Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting China, India, Persia, and the Mediterranean, began to take shape facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies across vast distances. First century C. The Roman Empire expanded its trade networks, connecting Europe, Africa, and Asia and fostering the exchange of goods, ideas, and people. Seventh century C. The rise of Islam led to the expansion of trade networks across the Middle East, North Africa, and Europe, connecting various civilizations and fostering the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies. Fifteenth century C. European explorers, such as Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama, established new trade routes to Asia and the Americas, connecting previously isolated civilizations and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and people. This timeline demonstrates the gradual evolution of trade and exchange networks throughout history, highlighting the interconnectedness of human societies and the role of trade in shaping the world we know today. Weaving the Web The impact of trade and exchange on prehistoric societies and the interconnectedness of knowledge. Trade and exchange played a crucial role in shaping prehistoric societies, fostering social complexity and the development of early states. As tribes exchanged goods and resources, they also formed connections and alliances, which helped to establish political and social hierarchies. The exchange of ideas and technologies further contributed to the evolution of prehistoric tribes as they adopted and adapted new practices to suit their needs and environments. This process of exchange and adaptation can be seen as a microcosm of interdisciplinary knowledge that spans various fields, highlighting the interconnectedness of human knowledge and experience. By drawing on insights from physics, mathematics, neuroscience, clinical psychology, and artificial intelligence, we can better understand the complex connections underpinning trade and exchange networks and their impact on prehistoric societies. Tales of Trade Case studies of prehistoric exchange networks and the ethical principles that guide our understanding. Throughout prehistory, various trade and exchange networks emerged, connecting tribes across vast distances and facilitating the flow of goods, ideas, and people. Some notable examples include 
the obsidian trade in the Mediterranean. This network connected tribes across the Mediterranean as they exchanged the valuable volcanic glass known as obsidian, which was prized for its sharpness and durability. The obsidian trade not only provided tribes with essential tools and weapons, but also fostered connections and alliances throughout the region. The exchange of obsidian can reflect the universe's interconnectedness, as tribes sought to acquire this valuable resource to improve their lives and societies. The amber trade in Northern Europe, in the chilly lands of Northern Europe, tribes traded the golden gemstone amber, which was highly valued for its beauty and supposed magical properties. The amber trade connected tribes from the Baltic Sea to the Mediterranean and significantly developed early European societies. This exchange of amber can be seen as a manifestation of the universe's self-perception, as tribes sought to acquire this beautiful and mysterious material to enhance their lives and societies. The amber trade connected tribes from the Baltic Sea to the Mediterranean and significantly developed early European cultures. The shell trade in the Americas, across the vast expanse of the Americas, prehistoric tribes traded shells, which were used for ornamentation and as a form of currency. The shell trade connected tribes from the coastal regions to the interior, facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas and contributing to the development of complex societies in the Americas. This exchange of shells can be seen as a reflection of the universe's interconnectedness, as tribes sought to acquire these valuable resources to improve their lives and societies. These case studies illustrate the significance of trade and exchange networks in prehistoric contexts, highlighting their role in shaping the societies and cultures of the time. As tribes interacted and exchanged goods, they wove a complex web of connections that would ultimately lay the foundation for today's world. The role of cooperation and competition in early societies. As tribes engaged in trade and exchange, they navigated the delicate balance between cooperation and competition, working together to achieve common goals while striving to secure their survival and prosperity. This interplay between cooperation and competition can be seen in the various social structures that emerged in prehistoric societies, such as herds, packs, and hives. During times of peace and abundance, societies may have leaned towards a hive-like structure, focusing more on cooperation and division of labor. In contrast, societies may have adopted more pack-like behaviors during conflict or resource scarcity, emphasizing competition and self-preservation. The evolution of trade and exchange, from barter to blockchain, trade has foundationally existed for as long as any society. Primitive trade involves the exchange of goods and services based on the needs and skills of individuals within a community. The societies developed, they began to use intermediary objects, such as precious metals, as a common trade currency. This allowed for the establishment of more complex trade networks and the development of financial systems. Over time, the financial systems evolved to include banks, which offered services such as protecting and lending money. Governments also shaped the financial landscape, often debasing currencies by reducing the amount of precious metal and coins. Eventually, the gold standard was established, tying the value of money to a specific amount of gold. However, this system was eventually abandoned in favor of fiat currencies, not backed by any physical commodity. Today, we are witnessing another evolution in trade and exchange with the rise of digital currencies and blockchain technology. These innovations can revolutionize how we conduct trade and exchange, offering new possibilities for global interconnectedness and cooperation. The dangers of utopianism and the importance of humility and personal responsibility. The study of history, particularly the atrocities committed under communist regimes, highlights the dangers of utopianism and the importance of humility and personal responsibility. The belief in a perfect future society can be used to justify any means necessary to reach that goal, including mass suffering and oppression. By learning from the past and acknowledging the inherent inequality that exists in reality, we can strive for a more balanced and ethical approach to societal development. In the modern world, we can see the dangers of utopianism in various forms, such as pursuing technological solutions to complex social and environmental problems without considering the potential unintended consequences. For example, developing genetically modified organisms has been hailed as a solution to global food insecurity. Still, concerns have been raised about the potential impacts on biodiversity, human health, and the livelihoods of small-scale farmers. Chapter 13. The Canvas of Time, the Beam of Art and Symbolism as tribes evolved and their cognitive abilities expanded, they developed artistic and symbolic expressions transcending mere survival. Various factors, such as cognitive evolution, social dynamics, and the need for communication, influenced these early forms of art and symbolism. From the intricate cave paintings to the enigmatic Venus figurines, these early expressions of creativity and imagination offer a glimpse into the minds of our prehistoric ancestors and the emergence of a universal consciousness. We can begin to understand the interconnectedness of these disciplines and their potential to contribute to a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it. The development of art and symbolism in prehistoric societies can be seen as a manifestation of the universe's self-perception. 
These early expressions of creativity and imagination allowed tribes to communicate complex ideas and emotions beyond spoken languages limitations. Painting the tapestry, the impact of art and symbolism on the hive of humanity. Art and symbolism played a crucial role in shaping prehistoric societies, as they allowed tribes to develop shared cultural identities, reinforce social structures, and express their belief systems. These artistic and symbolic expressions served as a means of communication, enabling tribes to convey complex ideas and emotions beyond spoken languages limitations. By examining the art and symbolism of prehistoric tribes, we can gain a deeper understanding of their worldviews and the factors that influence their development. Masterpieces of the past, examples of prehistoric art and symbolism as reflections of universal consciousness. Throughout prehistory, various forms of artistic and symbolic expression emerged, reflecting the diverse cultures and beliefs of the tribes that created them. Some notable examples include the cave paintings at Las Corques. These stunning paintings, found in the depths of a cave in southwestern France, depict a menagerie of animals and abstract symbols, offering a glimpse into the minds of the prehistoric artists who created them. The Las Corques paintings showcase the artistic talents of our ancestors, but also provide insights into their beliefs and the world they inhabited. The Venus figurines, these small, enigmatic sculptures, found across Europe and Asia, depict the female form in various stages of life, from youth to old age. The Venus figurines are believed to have held symbolic significance for prehistoric tribes, perhaps representing fertility, motherhood, or the cycle of life and death. By studying these figurines, we can gain valuable insights into the societies that created them and the factors that shaped their development, including the emergence of ethical principles and the interconnectedness of all living beings. The megalithic structures of Western Europe The awe-inspiring megalithic structures, such as Stonehenge and the Karnak stones, stand as testaments to the ingenuity and determination of prehistoric tribes. These monumental constructions not only demonstrate the technical skills of their builders but also hold symbolic significance, perhaps serving as astronomical observatories, sacred spaces or markers of tribal territories. By examining these structures, we can better understand the societies that created them and the factors that influenced their development, including the emergence of universal consciousness and the interconnectedness of all living beings. The interplay of social structures and the evolution of consciousness. The evolution of human consciousness and behavior can be traced back to the interplay between individual and group dynamics and the shifting social structures throughout history. The societies evolved. They adopted different social structures, such as herds, packs, and hives, influencing their cooperation, competition, and division of labor. These social structures, in turn, shaped the development of art, symbolism, and ethical principles, reflecting the universe's self-perception. In times of peace and abundance, societies may have leaned towards a hive-like structure, focusing more on cooperation and division of labor. This environment would have fostered the creation of art and symbolism that emphasized unity, interconnectedness, and the celebration of life. Conversely, societies may have adopted more pack-like behaviors during conflict or resource scarcity, emphasizing competition and self-preservation. In these situations, art and symbolism may have served as a means to assert dominance, mark territory, or rally members of the tribe around a common cause. A joint timeline of art, symbolism, and trade. The development of art and symbolism in prehistoric societies can be seen as a manifestation of the universe's self-perception. These early expressions of creativity and imagination allowed tribes to communicate complex ideas and emotions beyond spoken languages limitations. By examining the art and symbolism of prehistoric tribes, we can gain a deeper understanding of their worldviews and the factors that influenced their development. 40,000 BCE, the earliest known cave paintings, found in Indonesia, date back to this time, showcasing the artistic talents of our ancestors and their ability to communicate complex ideas and emotions through visual means. 30,000 BCE, the Venus figurines, small sculptures depicting the female form, began to appear across Europe and Asia, reflecting the symbolic significance of fertility, motherhood, and the cycle of life and death. 25,000 BCE, the development of pottery in East Asia allowed for the creation of more durable and intricate art forms, as well as the storage and transport of goods, facilitating trade and exchange. 12,000 BCE, the first long-distance trade routes emerged, connecting tribes across vast distances and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and people. This period also saw the development of more advanced artistic techniques such as the use of perspective and shading in cave paintings. 5000 BC, the Sumerians developed the first known system of writing, which facilitated record-keeping and communication in trade. This development also allowed for the creation of more complex art forms, such as narrative scenes and symbolic representations of abstract concepts. 3000 BC, the ancient Egyptians established trade routes across the Mediterranean and the Red Sea, connecting them with other regional civilizations. This period also saw the development of hieroglyphics, a system of writing that combined pictorial and symbolic elements, allowing for more nuanced communication and artistic expression. 
1200 BC, the Phoenicians, renowned for their seafaring skills, established trade routes throughout the Mediterranean, connecting various civilizations and fostering the exchange of goods and ideas. This period also saw the development of the Phoenician alphabet, which would later form the basis for the Greek and Latin alphabets, allowing for more efficient communication and the spread of artistic and symbolic traditions. The value of art and symbolism in prehistoric societies. Art and symbolism held significant value in prehistoric societies, both in terms of their practical uses and their cultural significance. For example, the intricate cave paintings found in Las Corques, France, are estimated to be worth millions of dollars in today's currency, reflecting their historical and artistic importance. Similarly, the Venus figurines, small sculptures depicting the female form, are considered priceless artifacts that offer valuable insights into the beliefs and values of the societies that created them. The development of technology and new techniques led to improvements in art and the creation of more complex and sophisticated forms of expression. As societies became more interconnected through trade and exchange, common symbols and artistic traditions began to spread, laying the foundation for the development of written language and the emergence of more advanced civilizations. In conclusion, the study of art and symbolism in prehistoric societies offers valuable insights into the development of human consciousness, the interconnectedness of knowledge, and the factors that shaped the evolution of our ancestors. By examining these early expressions of creativity and imagination, we can gain a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it, as well as the ethical principles that guide our actions and decisions. Chapter 14. The Dance of Duality, the Emergence of Gender Roles. The tapestry of human history is rich with the threads of gender roles and expectation, woven into the fabric of prehistoric tribes and shaping the lives of our ancestors and the societies they inhabited. The emergence of gender roles in these early communities can be traced to a complex interplay of factors, including social dynamics, resource distribution, and cultural beliefs. As we delve into the origins of gender roles, we shall uncover the forces that shaped the lives of men and women in prehistoric times and set the stage for the development of human societies. Furthermore, we will explore the function gender roles serve in society and how things can break down if we pretend they aren't of value, the choreography of society, the role of gender roles in shaping prehistoric societies and the interdisciplinary knowledge. The intricate dance of gender roles in prehistoric tribes profoundly impacted the evolution of these societies, influencing the organization of labor, the development of social hierarchies, and the expression of identity. By examining the significance of gender roles in prehistoric societies, we can better understand the social structures underpinning these communities and how they adapted and evolved. This understanding will also shed light on the importance of acknowledging and respecting the value of gender roles in modern societies, as well as the potential consequences of disregarding their significance. The Rhythms of the Past, Examples of Gender Roles in Prehistoric Contexts and personal experiences. To truly appreciate the nuances of gender roles in prehistoric tribes, we must immerse ourselves in the stories of these ancient societies, exploring the roles of women in Natufian culture, the representation of gender in Jomina, and the gendered division of labor in Clovis society. Through these case studies, we shall uncover the insights gained from studying gender roles in prehistoric contexts and their implications for understanding the societies that shaped human history. Incorporating personal experiences and anecdotes from humanity's journey, we can provide readers with a relatable and engaging perspective on the interconnectedness of all things, including the emergence of gender roles. For instance, the Natufian culture, which thrived in the Levant region around 15,000 to 11,500 years ago, is known for its relatively egalitarian social structure. Women played a significant role in the community, participating in hunting and gathering activities alongside men. This contrasts with the Jomon culture in ancient Japan, where art and artifacts suggest a more rigid division of labor, with women primarily responsible for gathering and food preparation while men focused on hunting and tool making. The dance of duality in the context of Haidt's hive psychology hypothesis and the dangers of utopianism. Integrating Haidt's hive psychology hypothesis and the dangers of utopianism, we can further explore the dance of duality in human societies. The hive psychology hypothesis suggests that human nature comprises selfish, strategic, and selfless, cooperative behaviors. This duality is evident in the emergence of gender roles in prehistoric societies, where cooperation and competition coexisted to shape the development of these communities. Utopian visions, which often emphasize the pursuit of a perfect society, can lead to catastrophic consequences when they disregard the inherent duality of human nature. By recognizing the importance of balancing cooperation and competition, we can avoid the pitfalls of utopianism and work towards a more harmonious and interconnected future. Gender roles, equality of outcome, and the importance of balance. The pursuit of gender equality has been a significant and legitimate issue throughout history. While it is essential to fight for equal opportunities for all, it is crucial to differentiate between equality of opportunity and equality of outcome. The latter can lead to unintended consequences, such as the weakening of institutions like the military, as mentioned in the provided text. 
by acknowledging the value of gender roles and the importance of balance, we can work towards a more equitable society without compromising the effectiveness of our institutions. Pronouns, trigger warnings, and the impact on free speech and understanding. The conversation surrounding pronouns and trigger warnings has become a contentious issue in modern society, while it is essential to respect and support vulnerable groups. Such as transgender individuals, it is also crucial to consider the potential impact on free speech and understanding. As discussed in the provided text, the policing of language can lead to a decrease in substantive discussions and an increase in division between different groups. By recognizing the importance of open dialogue and understanding, we can work towards a more inclusive and interconnected society. In conclusion, the study of gender roles in prehistoric societies offers valuable insights into the development of human consciousness, the interconnectedness of knowledge, and the factors that shaped the evolution of our ancestors. By examining these early expressions of gender roles, we can gain a deeper understanding of the universe our place within it, and the ethical principles that guide our actions and decisions. Furthermore, we can learn from the past to create a more balanced, inclusive, and interconnected future. Chapter 15. The Intricate Waltz of Gender in Prehistoric Social Structures and Beliefs In the grand ballroom of prehistoric societies, gender roles and expectations swayed and twelve, shaping social structures, belief systems, and ways of life. As we delve into the dance of prehistoric tribes, we shall explore the evolution and diversification of gender roles across different cultures and the impact they had on the lives of our ancestors. This exploration will be guided by the innovative theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception, which posits that our understanding of gender and kinship reflects the interconnectedness of all things. We will examine the complex interplay between gender roles and the formation of kinship circles in prehistoric societies. We will also consider the role of spike nodes, the proposed mechanism of perception, in shaping our understanding understanding of these social structures. In the spirit of thinkers like Jordan Peterson and Russell Brand, we will explore the psychological and sociological implications of these gender roles and kinship structures. We will consider how these early societies grappled with issues of inequality, power dynamics, and the value of human life and how these struggles may have shaped the development of our modern world. The formation and significance of kinship circles in prehistoric societies, a symphony of interconnectedness. As the music of time played on, kinship circles emerged and organized themselves in prehistoric societies, orchestrating social relations, resource distribution, and cooperation among tribes. We shall examine the role of kinship in governing these aspects of prehistoric life and how these circles intertwined with the dance of gender. This analysis will be enriched by insights from AI, simulation methods, and large-scale data analysis, highlighting the interconnectedness of various disciplines in our quest to understand the universe and our place within it. The evolution of gender roles and family structures in prehistoric tribes, a choreography of adaptation and progress. In the ever-changing choreography of prehistoric societies, gender roles and family structures adapted and evolved to accommodate shifting social, cultural, and environmental conditions. By studying the dance of gender and kinship in prehistoric tribes, we gain valuable insights into human development and the intricate steps that have led us to where we are today. For instance, the emergence of agriculture and the domestication of animals led to a more sedentary lifestyle, which in turn influenced the division of labor and the roles of men and women in society. The interplay of gender, kinship, and social structures in the context of global history and interactions. We will examine how human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between the three categories of sociality in animals, herds, packs, and hives, and how these structures have manifested in human societies throughout history. This exploration will reveal the intricate dance of gender and kinship across various cultures and time periods, highlighting the universality of these themes in shaping human societies. For example, the emergence of complex societies in ancient Mesopotamia, Egypt, and China was characterized by the development of hierarchical social structures with distinct roles for men and women. In these societies, kinship played a crucial role in determining one's social status and access to resources, further reinforcing the importance of gender roles in shaping human history. Chapter 16. The Artful Vibration of Society, Sparks of Music and the Evolution of Human Expression in the symphony of human societies over the past few centuries, art, symbolism, and music have played harmonious melodies, serving as means of communication, expression of beliefs, and reinforcement of social cohesion. These creative expressions can reflect the universe's self-perception, as they reveal the interconnectedness of all things and the emergence of consciousness in our ancestors. We shall explore how these artistic manifestations reflect society's cultural, spiritual, and social aspects, vividly depicting our ancestors' lives and place within the cosmos. As Mozart once said, music is the mediator between the spiritual and the sensual life. 
His sentiment echoes the idea that music serves as a bridge between the tangible and intangible aspects of human existence, transcending cultural and linguistic barriers to unite people across time and space. The evolution of music, composers, instruments, and styles. The artistic expressions of human societies over the past few centuries have been as diverse as the instruments in an orchestra, ranging from the delicate notes of classical compositions to the bold strokes of modern masterpieces. We shall examine the materials and techniques artists and musicians used to create their works, revealing the ingenuity and creativity Creativity of our forebears. Throughout history, composers such as Mozart, Beethoven, and Bach have shaped the evolution of music, introducing new styles, scales, keys, and harmonic structures that continue to influence contemporary artists. The development of musical instruments, from primitive drums and flutes to modern synthesizers and digital audio workstations, has also played a crucial role in shaping the soundscape of human societies. As James Brown once said, the one thing that can solve most of our problems is dancing. This quote highlights the power of music to bring people together, foster a sense of community, and promote emotional well-being. The significance of art, symbolism, and music in deciphering societal beliefs and values. By analyzing art, symbolism, and music, we can gain insights into society's beliefs, values, and worldviews over the past few centuries, allowing us to reconstruct these communities' spiritual and cultural lives. As we listen to the symphony of art and music, we can better understand the melodies and harmonies that have shaped human history and continue to resonate in our world today. Through Hate's Hive Psychology Hypothesis, we can explore the emergence of cooperation and competition in societies, as reflected in their art, symbolism, and music. By examining the three categories of animal sociality, herds, packs, and hives, and how they manifest in human societies throughout history, we can better understand the role of art, symbolism, and music in shaping societal beliefs and values. The ethical principles guiding our exploration of art, symbolism, and music. As we delve into the art, symbolism, and music of societies over the past few centuries, we must approach our inquiry with a sense of responsibility, open-mindedness, and adherence to ethical principles. By addressing the issue of publication bias in various domains of science and advocating for a more open and collaborative approach to scientific inquiry, we can ensure that our exploration is transparent, rigorous, and ethically grounded. The Wisdom of Musical Innovators, Jacob Collier and the Future of Music in the words of contemporary musician Jacob Collier, harmony happens when we put more than one note next to each other, and they happen simultaneously. Collier's innovative approach to music, which incorporates elements of jazz, classical, and electronic genres, exemplifies the ongoing evolution of human expression and the limitless potential of artistic creativity. Chapter 17. The Dawn of History, Writing Systems, Consciousness, and the Transformation of Human Societies. The birth of writing systems in various regions, such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, and China, marked a pivotal moment in human history and the development of consciousness. These systems emerged as a response to the growing complexities of trade, administration, and religious practices, allowing for the recording and preservation of knowledge. The development of writing systems signaled the transition from prehistory to history, as human societies began to document their stories, beliefs, and achievements. This transformation can be seen as the universe's self-perception, with human consciousness as a mirror reflecting the cosmos, much like the art, symbolism, and music explored in the previous chapter. The written word, catalyst for societal evolution in consciousness. The introduction of writing systems brought about profound changes in human societies and the development of consciousness. With the ability to record information, social hierarchies emerged, bureaucracies were established, and professional scribes became indispensable. Writing systems were crucial in developing early historical civilizations and their institutions, such as law codes, taxation systems, and education. Moreover, the written word sparked a cultural and intellectual revolution and a shift in human consciousness. Literature, philosophy, and science flourished as people could share their ideas, discoveries, and creative expressions with others. Writing systems enabled the exchange of knowledge and the preservation of cultural heritage, shaping the course of human history and the evolution of consciousness. This cultural and intellectual revolution parallels the impact of art, symbolism, and music on human societies, as discussed in Chapter 16. For instance, the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the earliest known works of literature, offers a glimpse into ancient Mesopotamian society's values, beliefs, and aspirations. Similarly, the development of Egyptian hieroglyphs facilitated the documentation of religious texts, such as the Book of the Dead, which guided the deceased through the afterlife. In China, the invention of the Oracle Bone script laid the foundation for the Chinese writing system, which has evolved and endured for thousands of years. A legacy of prehistoric tribes, unraveling the origins of early historical civilizations and consciousness. The study of prehistoric tribes offers invaluable insights into the foundations of early historical civilizations and the development of consciousness. By examining these ancient communities' lives, beliefs, and innovations, we can better understand the continuity and changes between prehistoric and early historical societies and the evolution of human consciousness. 
consciousness. Prehistoric studies provide a crucial context for early historical developments, revealing the factors that influence the evolution of human societies and consciousness. From the Natufians' agricultural practices to the Jomans' social structures, the legacy of prehistoric tribes can be traced in the tapestry of human history and the development of consciousness. For example, the Natufians, a prehistoric culture in the Levant, were among the first to adopt sedentary lifestyles and engage in agriculture. This shift from a nomadic existence to settled communities laid the groundwork for the emergence of complex societies and the development of writing systems. Similarly, the Jomon culture in ancient Japan exhibited sophisticated pottery techniques and social structures, which influenced the subsequent Yaoi period and the formation of early Japanese civilization. The interplay of social structures and consciousness in human history. Throughout history, societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between various social structures, such as herds, packs, and hives. These structures, observed in the animal kingdom, have influenced human behavior and consciousness in different historical contexts. As explored in Chapter 16, Haidt's Hive Psychology Hypothesis provides a framework for understanding the role of art, symbolism, and music in shaping societal beliefs and values. During times of peace, societies may lean towards a hive-like structure, focusing more on cooperation and division of labor. In contrast, societies may adopt more pack-like behaviors during conflict or resource scarcity, emphasizing competition and self-preservation. The interplay between these social structures and human consciousness has shaped the course of human history and the development of civilizations. Lessons from History The Dangers of Utopianism and the Importance of Humility the study of history reveals the dangers of utopian visions and the catastrophic consequences that can result from pursuing a perfect society. A belief in a perfect future society can be used to justify any means necessary to reach that goal, including mass suffering and oppression. This has been evident in the atrocities committed under various communist regimes, which were driven by utopian ideals. Inequality is a fundamental aspect of reality, evident even in the animal kingdom and among celestial bodies. However, Western systems rooted in Judeo-Christian tradition have been the only ones to create wealth and stability, despite the inherent inequality that comes with it. It is essential to learn from history and recognize the dangers of utopianism, embracing humility and personal responsibility in the face of historical evidence. In conclusion, the transition from prehistory to early history, marked by the emergence of writing systems, transformed human societies and set the stage for the development of complex civilizations and the evolution of consciousness. This transformation is intricately linked to the role of art, symbolism, and music in human societies. Chapter 18. Echoes of the Past, the Crucial Role of Cultural Heritage and Conservation preservation is paramount, not only for the enrichment of future generations but also for advancing our understanding of the past. By safeguarding these remnants of bygone eras, we ensure that the stories of prehistoric societies continue to echo through time, providing invaluable insights into the foundations of human civilization and the universe's self-perception. The attitudes and beliefs of people at different locations and times regarding the preservation of ancient ruins, tombs, and other relics have varied significantly, reflecting the diverse cultural contexts and historical circumstances in which they emerged. The restoration of the ancient city of Palmyra in Syria was severely damaged during the Syrian civil war, and the ongoing conservation work at the prehistoric site of Katalhoyak in Turkey. These projects demonstrate the global commitment to preserving our shared past and the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in achieving this goal. In ancient Egypt, for instance, the preservation of tombs and monuments was essential to ensure the deceased's successful journey to the afterlife. This belief led to constructing of elaborate tombs and the development of mummification techniques to preserve the body for eternity. In contrast, some ancient societies, such as the Maya, periodically destroyed and rebuilt their temples and monuments, reflecting a cyclical view of time and the belief in the continuous renewal of the cosmos, navigating the challenges and ethical dilemmas of cultural heritage preservation. The quest to preserve prehistoric sites and artifacts is fraught with challenges, from environmental threats and leading to the encroachment of urban development. Moreover, the conservation and display of prehistoric artifacts raise various ethical considerations, including ownership, access, and cultural sensitivity. As we strive to protect these ancient treasures, we must navigate these complexities carefully, balancing the need for preservation with respect for the diverse cultural contexts from which they emerged incorporating insights from various fields, such as AI, simulation methods, and large-scale data analysis, can help us address these challenges more effectively. By fostering collaboration and open-mindedness among stakeholders, we can ensure that our approach to cultural heritage preservation is grounded in ethical principles and promotes global harmony and interconnectedness. One notable example of interdisciplinary collaboration in cultural heritage preservation is using satellite imagery and remote sensing technology to monitor and protect archaeological sites from looting and environmental damage. This innovative approach combines archaeology, geography, and computer science expertise to create a more effective and ethical framework for safeguarding our shared past. The enduring significance of cultural heritage in sustaining our connection to prehistoric societies and the universe's self-perception 
Cultural heritage preservation plays a vital role in deepening our understanding of prehistoric societies and their contributions to the tapestry of human history. Museums, archaeologists, and other stakeholders serve as custodians of this heritage, promoting appreciation and study of the relics left behind by our ancestors. By preserving and celebrating these echoes of the past, we honor the legacy of prehistoric tribes and ensure that their stories continue to resonate with generations to come. As we unravel the mysteries of our past, we must remain committed to safeguarding the cultural heritage that connects us to our ancestors and enriches our understanding of the human story. By embracing interdisciplinary knowledge, personal experiences, and morality, we can foster a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the world and our position within it. The role of cultural heritage in understanding human nature and social structures. The preservation of cultural heritage also provides valuable insights into human nature and the evolution of social structures. By examining the artifacts and remnants of prehistoric societies, we can better understand the interplay between individual and group dynamics that have shaped human history. This understanding can be further enriched by integrating theories such as Haight's Hive Psychology Hypothesis, which posits that human nature comprises selfish, strategic behaviors and selfless, cooperative tendencies. Throughout history, human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between different social structures, such as herds, packs, and hives. By studying the cultural heritage of these societies, we can gain a deeper understanding of the factors that have driven these shifts and how they have influenced the development of human civilization. For example, preserving ancient Greek and Roman ruins offers insights into the political and social structures that shaped these societies, as well as the values and beliefs underpinning their approach to governance, warfare, and diplomacy. In conclusion, preserving cultural heritage is essential for understanding human society's evolution and consciousness development. By examining the artifacts and remnants of prehistoric cultures, we can better understand the interplay between individual and group dynamics that have shaped human history. This understanding can be further enriched by integrating theories such as Haight's Hive Psychology Hypothesis, which posits that human nature comprises selfish, strategic behaviors and selfless, cooperative tendencies. By embracing interdisciplinary knowledge, personal experiences, and morality, we can foster a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the world and our position within it. Chapter 19. Unraveling the Threads of Time, Game Theory, Mimesies, and Complex Dynamics. The study of human societies is a vibrant and ever-evolving field, with scholars from diverse backgrounds weaving together their interpretations and insights. As discoveries emerge and methodologies advance, our understanding of these societies continues to shift and expand. The rich tapestry of scholarly opinions reflects the complexity of human history and the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in unraveling the mysteries of our past. The innovative theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception adds another layer to this tapestry, inviting us to explore the interconnectedness of all things and the role of human perception in shaping our understanding of the world. For instance, the groundbreaking work of archaeologists like Marija Gimbutas proposed the existence of a peaceful, goddess-worshipping society in ancient times. This has sparked intense debate and inspired further research into the role of gender and spirituality in ancient cultures. Similarly, the discovery of Gokli Teep, a 12,000-year-old temple complex in modern-day Turkey, has challenged conventional wisdom about the origins of agriculture and the development of complex societies. By incorporating game theory, mimesies, complex dynamics, trends, related predictions, and hindsight, we can construct a more comprehensive picture of how events and interactions in the past have led to the time leading up to now and today. Expanding on Haight's Hive Psychology Hypothesis, we can examine the emergence of cooperation and competition in human societies and their implications for human nature and consciousness. By exploring the three categories of sociality in animals, herds, packs, and hives, we can gain insights into the social structures of human societies and their evolution throughout history. This integrated approach provides a unique perspective on the development of human societies and the role of consciousness in shaping human experiences throughout history, weaving connections, shaping our understanding of human history and development. By examining the intricate patterns of human societies, we can better understand the factors that have shaped our world today, from social structures and environmental challenges to cultural practices and beliefs. The threads of historical studies intertwine with those of human history and development, offering valuable insights into the origins and evolution of our societies. Furthermore, historical studies have the potential to challenge and revise existing historical narratives, shedding new light on the tapestry of our past. For example, the study of human societies has revealed the importance of cooperation and collaboration in early human societies. Guidance by the construction of monumental structures like Stonehenge and the development of sophisticated trade networks, this understanding of our ancestors' collaborative nature can inform modern discussions about the role of cooperation in addressing global challenges such as climate change and inequality. By applying game theory and complex dynamics to the study of human society, 
we can gain a deeper understanding of the factors that drove their development and how they adapted to changing circumstances. This approach allows us to explore the interplay between individual and group dynamics and the role of competition and cooperation in shaping the course of human history. Embracing diversity, the importance of considering multiple perspectives and mimeses to fully appreciate the richness and complexity of human societies. It is essential to engage with a diverse array of perspectives and interpretations. We can weave a more inclusive and nuanced understanding of human societies by incorporating the voice of marginalized communities, such as indigenous peoples and female scholars, fostering open dialogue, critical thinking, and reflexivity in studying human societies allows us to explore the many threads of human history and create a more vibrant and dynamic tapestry for future generations to appreciate and learn from. The work of indigenous archaeologists like Joe Watkins and Dorothy Lippett has highlighted the importance of incorporating indigenous perspectives and knowledge systems into archaeological research. This challenges Eurocentric narratives and promotes a more inclusive understanding of the past. By considering the concept of mimeses, or imitation, in the study of human societies, we can gain insights into how cultural practices and beliefs were transmitted and adapted over time. This approach allows us to explore the complex dynamics of cultural exchange and the role of imitation in shaping the development of human societies, ethical principles and collaboration in the pursuit of knowledge, addressing publication bias and promoting open science. We can address the issue of publication bias in various domains of science and advocate for a more open and collaborative approach to scientific inquiry. We can promote global harmony and interconnectedness by encouraging readers to challenge their assumptions and biases and collaborate to construct a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the world. For example, the open science movement advocates for open access to research data and publications. This can foster greater collaboration and transparency in the scientific community, leading to more robust and reliable knowledge towards a harmonious future. Science, technology, culture, and religion in dialogue highlighting the potential for humanity to function efficiently and harmoniously. We can inspire readers to join the global effort towards a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future. For instance, scholars like Karen Armstrong, who has explored the commonalities and differences between the world's major religious traditions. They can help us appreciate the potential for dialogue and cooperation between different cultural and spiritual perspectives in addressing global challenges. By embracing interdisciplinary approaches, including game theory, mimeses, and complex dynamics, we can foster a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of human societies and their contributions to human history. This, in turn, can inform our efforts to create a more harmonious and interconnected world grounded in mutual respect, cooperation, and a shared commitment to preserving our planet and its rich cultural heritage. Chapter 20, Unearthing the Future, Technological Advancements and Sense-Making. As we venture further into the 21st century, the realm of prehistoric studies is being transformed by groundbreaking technologies that enable us to delve deeper into the mysteries of our ancient past. Remote sensing, geospatial analysis, and genomic sequencing are cutting-edge tools revolutionizing our understanding of prehistoric tribes. These advancements also give us a unique opportunity to explore the innovative theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception, allowing us to comprehend our place within the cosmos better. However, as we embrace these advancements, we must also grapple with the ethical considerations and challenges accompanying them. How do we balance pursuing knowledge with preserving our shared human heritage and promoting global harmony? and interconnectedness. Furthermore, how do we navigate the broken information ecology and improve our collective sense-making to inform better choices in an increasingly complex world? In the words of philosopher and mathematician Bertrand Russell, the whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves, and wiser people so full of doubts. As we continue to explore the past, we must remain humble and open to the possibility that our current understanding may need to be completed or corrected. We must also strive to develop our attention and cognitive capacity to better understand the nuances of our world and its history, weaving the threads of knowledge, interdisciplinary and collaborative research for collective intelligence. In the quest to unravel the tapestry of human history, the importance of interdisciplinary and collaborative research cannot be overstated. As the boundaries between fields of study become increasingly blurred, we discover the immense value of weaving diverse perspectives and expertise together. This interdisciplinary approach not only fosters a richer understanding of prehistoric tribes but also encourages collaboration between specialists from various fields. This opens the door to new perspectives, hypotheses, and insights that can illuminate the lives of our ancient ancestors and contribute to a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it. The discovery of Gokli Tepe, an archaeological site in Turkey dating back to the 10th millennium BCE, has challenged our understanding of the development of human civilization. This site, which predates the invention of agriculture and the rise of cities, suggests that complex social structures and religious practices may have emerged earlier. 
This discovery has prompted a collaboration between archaeologists, anthropologists, and other specialists to reevaluate our understanding of human history. To address the broken information ecology and improve collective intelligence, we must foster a culture of collaboration and sense-making that empowers individuals to develop their cognitive capacities and engage in nuanced discussions. By simplifying information without sacrificing debt, we can help people make sense of the world and contribute to a more informed and interconnected global community. The eternal flame of curiosity, the ongoing pursuit of knowledge and understanding in prehistoric studies and beyond. The study of prehistoric tribes is far from complete, and the quest for new knowledge and understanding continues to burn brightly. As we forge ahead in our exploration of the past, we must remain open to the possibility that future discoveries may reshape our understanding of prehistoric tribes and their contributions to human history. By nurturing our curiosity, wonder, and appreciation for our shared human past, we honor our ancestors' legacy and ensure that the flame of knowledge continues to burn for generations. In the words of Stephen Fry, we are not nouns, we are verbs. I am not a thing, an actor, a writer, I do things, I write, I act, and I never know what I will do next. You can be imprisoned if you think of yourself as a noun. Similarly, let us not confine our understanding of prehistoric tribes to static, unchanging entities. Instead, let us embrace the dynamic, ever-evolving nature of human history and continue to seek new knowledge and understanding in the fascinating world of prehistoric studies and beyond. By holistically approaching science, technology, culture, and religion together, we can employ our discoveries and innovations to better all humanity, towards a harmonious future, nurturing sovereignty and personal sense-making. As we continue to unearth the future, it is crucial to nurture individual sovereignty and personal sense-making. By empowering individuals to grow their cognitive capacities, self-reflexiveness, and depth of care, we can foster a more informed and interconnected global community capable of addressing the challenges of our time. By embracing interdisciplinary approaches, including game theory, mimeses, and complex dynamics, we can foster a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of human societies and their contributions to human history. This, in turn, can inform our efforts to create a more harmonious and interconnected world grounded in mutual respect, cooperation, and a shared commitment to preserving our planet and its rich cultural heritage. Chapter 21. The Resonance of Contemporary Cultural Practices and Beliefs. Navigating the Broken Information Ecology. The echoes of prehistoric traditions reverberate through time, manifesting in modern rituals, ceremonies, and customs across various cultures. Indigenous communities continue to practice traditional rituals and ceremonies deeply rooted in their prehistoric origins. These enduring traditions forge a sense of cultural continuity and connection to their ancestors, reflecting the universe's self-perception as a conscious entity. Prehistoric belief systems also persist in shaping contemporary spiritual practices and worldviews. Animistic beliefs and shamanistic practices prevalent in some prehistoric societies continue to thrive in certain indigenous cultures today, such as the Native American tribes of North America and the Aboriginal communities of Australia. Delving into the study of prehistoric tribes offers invaluable insights into the genesis and evolution of these cultural practices, ultimately enriching our understanding of our shared human heritage and the interconnectedness of all things. However, as we navigate the broken information ecology, we must be cautious of the information we consume and share. We must strive to develop our attention and cognitive capacity to better understand the nuances of our world and its history. By empowering individuals to grow their cognitive capacities, self-reflexiveness, and depth of care, we can foster a more informed and interconnected global community capable of addressing the challenges of our time. The portrayal of early tribes in the kaleidoscope of popular culture, balancing simplification and empowerment, the depiction of prehistoric tribes in literature, film, television, and art significantly influences public perceptions of these ancient societies. These portrayals span a wide spectrum, from meticulously accurate and well-researched depictions, such as Gene M. All's Earth's Children series, to more sensationalized and romanticized visions of the past, like the 1981 film Quest for Fire. Popular culture possesses the dual power to educate and entertain, and creators must strive for accurate and nuanced representations of prehistoric tribes in their work. By doing so, they can cultivate a deeper appreciation and understanding of the complexity and diversity of prehistoric societies, challenging existing stereotypes and misconceptions. In the pursuit of simplifying information for broader audiences, we must be careful not to sacrifice depth and accuracy. Instead, we should focus on empowering people to develop their sense-making abilities, enabling them to engage in nuanced discussions and make informed choices. The crucible of prehistoric studies, shaping our understanding of human nature and social evolution through collective intelligence and sense-making. The insights from prehistoric research contribute to our understanding of the bedrock upon which human societies and behavior are built. By examining the lives of prehistoric tribes, we can better comprehend the evolutionary processes that have sculpted human nature and social development. 
Prehistoric studies also inform contemporary social, environmental, and cultural discussions, providing invaluable context for understanding today's challenges. For example, studying how prehistoric societies adapted to environmental changes can offer insights into how modern societies can respond to similar challenges, such as climate change. The archaeological findings at Katalhoyak, an ancient settlement in present-day Turkey, reveal how early societies developed sustainable agricultural practices and adapted to their changing environment. To address the broken information ecology and improve collective intelligence, we must foster a culture of collaboration and sense-making that empowers individuals to develop their cognitive capacities and engage in nuanced discussions. By simplifying information without sacrificing depth, we can help people make sense of the world and contribute to a more informed and interconnected global community. The interplay of human nature and social structures, embracing interdisciplinary approaches for a harmonious future, by examining the three categories of sociality in animals, herds, packs, and hives, and their manifestations in human societies, we can trace the development of social structures and their impact on human behavior. Throughout global history, human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between these three social structures. For instance, during times of peace, societies may lean towards a hive-like structure, focusing more on cooperation and division of labor. In contrast, societies may adopt more pack-like behaviors during conflict or resource scarcity, emphasizing competition and self-preservation. The expanded hypothesis also suggests that certain businesses and organizations resemble hives, with high levels of cooperation and division of labor. Synchronous movement or moving together has increased collaboration and trust, with potential applications in the corporate world. Companies that embrace synchronous activities, such as team building exercises, may be more effective in fostering a cooperative environment. This concept can be further explored in various historical contexts such as the development of trade networks, the rise and fall of empires, and the growth of global interconnectedness. By embracing interdisciplinary approaches, including game theory, mimeses, and complex dynamics, we can foster a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of human societies and their contributions to human history. This, in turn, can inform our efforts to create a more harmonious and interconnected world grounded in mutual respect cooperation, and a shared commitment to preserving our planet and its rich cultural heritage. Chapter 22. The Origins and Evolution of Language in Prehistoric Societies. A Melody of Communication. The birth of language in prehistoric tribes remains an enigmatic and captivating subject, much like the theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception. Various theories propose that language may have blossomed as a means of communication for hunting, social bonding, or cultural expression, much like the diverse notes in a symphony. While the exact origins of language remain shrouded in mystery, it is undeniable that language development played a pivotal role in the evolution of prehistoric societies and their interconnectedness. The development of language can be divided into two primary categories, phonetic and symbolic. Phonetic languages rely on sounds and vocalizations, while symbolic languages use visual representations such as written symbols or gestures. Both forms of language contributed to the complexity and diversity of communication in prehistoric societies. Prosody, the rhythm and intonation of speech, also played a significant role in the development of language. The variations in pitch, volume, and tempo allowed for more nuanced communication and emotional expression, further enriching the symphony of language. The significance of linguistic studies in unraveling the secrets of prehistoric tribes. Linguistic research has significantly contributed to our understanding of prehistoric societies and their relationships much like a skilled conductor guiding an orchestra. By analyzing the similarities and differences between languages, researchers can reconstruct the cultural and historical context of prehistoric tribes and trace their origins and migrations. This process mirrors the universe's self-perception, as it seeks to understand its existence through studying language and human history. The study of etymology, or the origin of words, provides valuable insights into the development and evolution of languages. By examining the roots of words and their changes over time, researchers can uncover the influences of different cultures and historical events on language. However, linguistic studies in the context of prehistoric research also face challenges and limitations. Due to the absence of written records, researchers must rely on comparative linguistic methods, which can be speculative and subject to interpretation, akin to deciphering a long-lost musical score. This challenge highlights the importance of collaboration, open-mindedness, and ethical principles in pursuing knowledge and innovation. The impact of language on the development of complex social structures and belief systems, a harmonious ensemble, a language was crucial in facilitating the emergence of complex social structures in prehistoric societies, such as kinship groups, clans, and chiefdoms. By enabling more sophisticated communication and cooperation, language allowed prehistoric tribes to establish and maintain social hierarchies and alliances, much like the harmonious interplay of instruments in an orchestra. Similarly, language influenced the development and transmission of prehistoric belief systems and rituals. Through oral traditions and storytelling, prehistoric tribes could preserve and share their myths, legends, and spiritual 
cultural beliefs, weaving a rich tapestry of cultural heritage that echoes through the ages. This intricate interplay between language, culture, and religion reflects the universe's self-perception and interconnectedness. Spelling variation and consolidation played a significant role in the development of written language. As societies evolved and interacted with one another, the need for standardized spelling and grammar became more apparent. This process allowed for more effective communication and record-keeping, contributing to the growth of complex societies and the preservation of cultural heritage. The decay of languages allowed to evolve without oversight can lead to the loss of valuable cultural and historical information. By studying and preserving endangered languages, we can ensure that the rich tapestry of human expression and knowledge is not lost to the sands of time. The legacy of prehistoric language and its influence on modern society, a timeless symphony. The study of prehistoric languages offers insights into the past and sheds light on the evolution of modern languages and the cultural diversity that characterizes our world today. By tracing the roots of contemporary languages, we can better understand the historical and cultural forces that have shaped human societies and contributed to the rich tapestry of human expression. Moreover, studying prehistoric languages can inspire innovative approaches to communication and collaboration in the modern world. By embracing the principles of empathy, open-mindedness, and ethical conduct, we can foster a global community that values diversity, creativity, and mutual understanding. In conclusion, the symphony of language in prehistoric tribes reflects the universe's self-perception and interconnectedness. By examining the origins, evolution, and impact of language on prehistoric societies, we can gain valuable insights into our shared human heritage and the development of complex social structures and belief systems. This understanding can inform our efforts to create a more harmonious and interconnected world, grounded in empathy, open-mindedness, and ethical conduct. Chapter 23. The Great Human Odyssey. The Intricate Web of Early Human Migration. The early chapters of human history are woven with tales of migration, as prehistoric tribes traversed vast landscapes searching for new territories, resources, and opportunities. These journeys were driven by a complex interplay of environmental, social, and technological factors, such as shifting climates, burgeoning populations, and the emergence of innovative tools and techniques. The idea of the hive being conscious suggests that the movement of early humans was not only a physical journey, but also a reflection of the hive's evolving understanding of itself and its place in the world. The reasons for migration were multifaceted, ranging from pursuing food and resources to escaping natural disasters or conflicts. As prehistoric tribes ventured into new territories, they encountered diverse environments and ecosystems, influencing their modes of travel, transport developments, and navigation techniques. Early humans relied on their innate abilities and knowledge of the natural world to navigate vast distances, using the stars, landmarks, and seasonal patterns to guide their way. A melting pot of cultures, interaction and exchange. The tapestry of prehistoric societies is rich with threads of cultural exchange and interaction as tribes encountered one another through trade, conflict, and migration. These meetings of cultures led to the exchange of goods, ideas, and people, sparking the development and transformation of prehistoric tribes and their ways of life. The impact of these cultural encounters can be seen in adopting new technologies, blending artistic styles, and transmitting religious beliefs and practices. These exchanges contributed to the vibrant diversity of prehistoric cultures, shaping human history and weaving a colorful tapestry of shared experiences. The interconnectedness of these cultural exchanges highlights the potential for humanity to function efficiently and harmoniously. By examining the spiritual practices of prehistoric tribes, we can gain a deeper understanding of the human experience and the development of belief systems, values, and social structures that have shaped the course of human history. Furthermore, this exploration allows us to appreciate the rich tapestry of human culture and the diverse ways our ancestors sought to make sense of their world and existence. The Ripple Effects of Migration Migration was pivotal in spreading and adapting cultural practices, technologies, and resources among prehistoric tribes. The movement of people facilitated the exchange of ideas, leading to the development of innovations and the adaptation of existing technologies to new environments. Moreover, migration shaped the diversity and complexity of prehistoric societies and their environments. Mixing different cultural traditions and practices led to new social structures, belief systems, and ways of life. In studying prehistoric tribes and their cultures, it is essential to consider migration and interaction as dynamic processes that continually shaped and transformed human societies, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of our shared history. The idea of the hive being conscious offers a unique perspective on these migrations, suggesting that the movement of early humans was not only a physical journey but also a reflection of the hive's evolving understanding of itself and its place in the world. The evolution of travel, transport, and navigation in prehistoric societies. As prehistoric tribes migrated across vast distances, they developed innovative modes of travel and transport to adapt to diverse environments and challenges. Early humans relied on their physical strength and endurance to traverse challenging terrains, using simple tools and techniques to aid their journeys. Over time, they harnessed the power of animals, such as horses and camels, to increase their mobility and transport capacity. 
The development of watercraft, such as rafts, canoes, and boats, revolutionized prehistoric migration and trade, enabling tribes to navigate rivers, lakes, and oceans in search of new lands and resources. These advancements in maritime technology facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and people across vast distances, contributing to the interconnectedness of prehistoric societies. Navigation techniques also evolved as prehistoric tribes ventured into new territories. Early humans relied on their keen observation of the natural world, using stars, landmarks, and seasonal patterns to guide their way. As societies became more complex, they developed sophisticated navigation systems, such as maps, compasses, and celestial navigation, allowing them to explore and conquer new frontiers with greater precision and confidence. Chapter 24 The Sacred Dance of Tribes, Rituals, Ceremonies, and the Birth of Spirituality As we have seen in the previous chapter, the great human odyssey of early migration and cultural exchange reflects the universe's self-perception and interconnectedness. Building on this understanding, we will delve into the spiritual practices of prehistoric tribes, exploring the origins of human culture, the development of belief systems, and the interconnected nature of all things. Throughout history, societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between various social structures, such as herds, packs, and hives. These structures, observed in the animal kingdom, have played a significant role in shaping human behavior and developing our collective consciousness. The hive self-perception, a unified theory of human nature and consciousness. The hive psychology hypothesis can be expanded to develop a more comprehensive understanding of human nature and consciousness in global history and interactions. By integrating the theory of consciousness as a reflection of the universe's self-perception with the hive psychology hypothesis, we can better understand human nature and consciousness within global history and interactions. This integrated approach provides a unique perspective on the evolution of societies, the emergence of cooperation and competition, and the role of consciousness in shaping human experiences throughout history. The role of rituals and ceremonies in societies. Rituals and ceremonies have played a crucial role in human society's development, fostering social cohesion, transmitting cultural knowledge, and exploring the nature of reality and consciousness. In prehistoric tribes, rituals and ceremonies often centered around the natural world, with participants seeking to understand and connect with the forces that govern their lives. These practices can be seen as early expressions of the hive's self-perception, with each ritual and ceremony contributing to the collective consciousness and the development of early spiritual belief systems. As tribes migrated and encountered new environments, their rituals and ceremonies evolved to incorporate new elements and adapt to their changing circumstances. This process of adaptation and exchange led to the development of diverse spiritual practices and belief systems, reflecting the rich tapestry of human culture and the interconnected of all things. The universal language, music, dance, and the emergence of collective consciousness. Music and dance have long been integral to human culture, transcending time and geographical boundaries. Our ancestors found a universal language that spoke to the interconnectedness of all things through their songs, rhythms, and melodies, and their bodies' movements. In this context, music and dance can be seen as expressions of the hive's self-perception, with each performance contributing to the collective consciousness. The shared experience of creating and participating in music and dance allowed prehistoric tribes to explore and celebrate their connections to each other and the world around them. These activities fostered social cohesion and served as a means of transmitting cultural knowledge and values across generations. By engaging in communal song and dance, early humans cultivated a sense of belonging and identity that supported the development of more complex societies. As tribes migrated and interacted with one another, they exchanged musical and dance traditions, leading to the blending of styles and the creation of new forms of expression. This process of cultural exchange further contributed to the interconnectedness of prehistoric societies and the development of a collective consciousness. Tracing the footsteps of our ancestors, the role of shamanism in early spirituality and consciousness. Shamanism, a practice centered around the belief in an unseen world of spirits and supernatural forces, played a pivotal role in the spiritual lives of many prehistoric tribes. Shamans acted as mediators between the physical and spiritual realms as spiritual leaders and healers, drawing on the power of altered states of consciousness to access wisdom guidance, and healing for their communities. Shamanic practices, which often involve rhythmic drumming, dancing, and the consumption of psychoactive substances, can be seen as an exploration of the hive's self-perception and the nature of consciousness. By entering altered states, shamans tapped into the interconnected web of reality, gaining insights believed to benefit the entire community. These experiences contributed to the collective consciousness and the development of early spiritual belief systems. As tribes migrated and interacted, shamanic practices and beliefs were exchanged and adapted, leading to the development of diverse spiritual traditions and the further expansion of the collective consciousness. Chapter 25 The Symphony of Innovation – Early Technologies and Their Development in the grand symphony of human history, the development of early technologies, such as stone tools, pottery, textiles, and agriculture, can be seen as the opening notes that set the stage for the complex melodies to come. 
His innovations played a crucial role in facilitating the survival and adaptation of prehistoric tribes, enabling them to exploit resources more efficiently and adapt to ever-changing environments. His process can reflect the universe's self-perception as human consciousness and innovation emerge from the intricate interplay of matter and energy. The tempo of early technological development varied across different prehistoric societies and environments, reflecting the diverse challenges and opportunities faced by our ancestors as they composed their unique stories. Let's appreciate the interconnectedness of these disciplines and their potential to contribute to a deeper understanding of the universe and our place within it. The crescendo, technological innovations shaping prehistoric societies and their environments. As the symphony of human history progressed, technological innovations began to crescendo, exerting a profound influence on the development of social structures, resource management, and environmental adaptation in prehistoric societies. Introducing new tools and techniques allowed for more effective exploitation of resources, leading to population growth and the emergence of more complex social structures. One notable example of this is the development of the wheel, which revolutionized transportation and trade, allowing for the movement of goods and people across vast distances. This facilitated the harmonious spread and exchange of cultural practices, knowledge, and resources. The movement of people and ideas contributed to developing shared technologies and cultural practices across different regions and environments, creating a rich tapestry of interconnected melodies. This interconnectedness can be seen as a manifestation of the universe's self-perception as human society societies evolved and adapted to their surroundings. The finale, early technological advancements and the evolution of human societies. As the symphony of human history reaches its climactic finale, we can see the long-term consequences of early technological innovations on the development of human societies and civilizations. The introduction of agriculture, for example, paved the way for the emergence of complex cultures, urban centers, and the first civilizations. The development of writing systems, such as cuneiform and hieroglyphics, allowed for recording history, laws, and knowledge enabling societies to preserve and transmit their cultural heritage across generations. The role of technology in shaping the course of human history and our understanding of the past is significant. By studying early technological advancements, we can gain valuable insights into the factors that drove human development and the broader patterns of world history. As we continue to explore the symphony of our past, we can appreciate the intricate interplay of innovation, culture, and environment that has shaped the world we know today. The Overture Early scientific discoveries and engineering accomplishments As human societies continued to evolve, so too did their understanding of the natural world. Early scientific discoveries, such as the principles of mathematics, astronomy, and medicine, laid the foundation for developing more advanced technologies and engineering accomplishments. The construction of monumental structures, such as the pyramids of Egypt, the Great Wall of China, and the Roman aqueducts, showcased the ingenuity and skill of early engineers and architects. The interlude, the formation of governments and companies, the need for structured governance and organization became apparent as societies grew more complex. Early governments, such as the Sumerian city-states and the Egyptian pharaohs, emerged to manage resources, maintain order, and provide for the common good. The formation of companies and trade guilds facilitated the exchange of goods and services, driving economic growth and fostering innovation. Dakota, actions and developments shaping the modern world. Throughout history, the actions of individuals, governments, and companies have shaped the course of human development. The invention of the printing press by Johannes Gutenberg revolutionized the dissemination of knowledge, while the voyages of explorers like Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama connected distant lands and cultures. The Industrial Revolution brought about unprecedented technological advancements such as the steam engine and the spinning jenny, which transformed economies and societies. More recently, the development of computers, the internet, and renewable energy sources have continued to drive innovation and reshape it. We can appreciate the countless contributions of early technologies, scientific discoveries, engineering accomplishments, and the actions of governments and companies in shaping the world we know today. Chapter 26. The Enduring Impact of Early Tribes on the Evolution of Human Societies and Civilizations The prehistoric tribes, though seemingly distant and disconnected from our modern world, have left an indelible mark on the development of human societies and civilizations. Their ingenuity in technology, social organization, and artistic expression laid the groundwork for the emergence of the following complex societies. Furthermore, their existence and experiences contribute to the innovative theory of consciousness as the universe's self-perception, representing a crucial part of the universe's understanding of itself. The influence of prehistoric tribes extends beyond their tangible contributions, as they have also shaped historical narratives and our understanding of human development. By studying these ancient societies, we can glean valuable insights into the origins and evolution of cultural practices, beliefs, and identities that continue to mold our world today. This interdisciplinary knowledge, which spans physics, mathematics, neuroscience, and clinical psychology, allows us to appreciate the interconnectedness of human history and the universe's self-perception. 
the role of prehistoric studies in reframing historical narratives, our perception of the past, and the universe's self-perception. The knowledge gleaned from the study of prehistoric tribes can enrich our understanding of human history by illuminating the origins and development of key cultural, social, and technological innovations. This research can challenge and transform traditional historical narratives, underscoring the contributions of prehistoric tribes to the broader tapestry of world history and the universe's self-perception. The significance of prehistoric tribes in the grand scheme of world history and the universe's self-perception. Prehistoric tribes occupy a pivotal position in studying global historical patterns and trends. Their societies played an instrumental role in shaping the development of human culture, politics, and economies over time. Moreover, their existence and experiences contribute to the universe's self-perception, representing a crucial part of the universe's understanding of itself. The study of prehistoric tribes can inform contemporary discussions on human nature, social development, and cultural diversity. By examining the lives of these ancient societies, we can gain valuable insights into the forces that have shaped human history and the challenges that we continue to grapple with today. This understanding can inspire us to join the global effort towards a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future. The interplay of Hate's Hive Psychology Hypothesis and Prehistoric Tribes in Understanding Human Nature and Consciousness, a Hive Psychology Hypothesis, as proposed by Jonathan Haidt, offers a unique lens through which we can examine the social structures and behaviors of prehistoric tribes. By understanding the balance between chimp-like and bee-like behaviors in these ancient society, we can better appreciate the evolutionary processes that have shaped human nature and consciousness. Throughout history, human societies have evolved and adapted by shifting between the three categories of sociality in animals, herds, packs, and hives. Prehistoric tribes, in particular, provide valuable insights into the emergence of these social structures and their impact on the development of human societies. By examining the dynamics of cooperation and competition within these tribes, we can better understand the role of consciousness in shaping human experiences throughout history. Lessons from the dangers of utopianism and Marxism in the context of prehistoric tribes and the universe's self-perception. The study of prehistoric tribes also offers valuable lessons on the dangers of utopianism and Marxism as these ancient societies grappled with issues of inequality, resource scarcity, and social cohesion. By examining how prehistoric tribes navigated these challenges, we can learn from their successes and failures and apply these lessons to contemporary political ideologies and social structures discussions. The human tendency toward compassion and striving for a better tomorrow makes it difficult to resist the temptation of utopian visions, even when those visions have been proven to lead to catastrophic consequences. In conclusion, the echoes of prehistoric tribes reverberate through the annals of history and the universe's self-perception, reminding us of the intricate web of connections that bind us to our ancestors and the cosmos. As we delve into the fascinating world of these ancient societies, we uncover the roots of our shared human experience and gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities and nuances of our collective past. Chapter 27, The Crucible of Conflict, How Warfare Shaped Early Societies and Continues to Reshape Our World Today. In the Crucible of Conflict, Prehistoric tribes forged their identities and destinies, driven by competition for resources, territorial disputes, and social tensions. From interpersonal violence to large-scale battles, warfare loomed large over these ancient societies, leaving its mark on archaeological remains such as fortifications, weaponry, and skeletal injuries. This phenomenon can be seen as a reflection of the hive's self-perception, where the interconnectedness of all things is mirrored in the complex web of relationships and interactions that shaped human history. The diverse social and environmental contexts in which prehistoric tribes developed gave rise to regional and cultural variations in warfare and conflict, painting a complex picture of human interaction and struggle. This intricate dance of violence and power has continued to shape the course of human history. With military movements and global location trends of short-lived and ongoing wars leaving indelible marks on the landscapes, cities, and countries they touch, the alchemy of warfare, transforming prehistoric social structures and belief systems through interdisciplinary insights. The intricate dance between warfare, religion, and belief systems in prehistory is equally fascinating. Warfare hammered and molded prehistoric social hierarchies and authority structures like a blacksmith shaping molten metal. Leaders skilled in war and conflict resolution often wielded power, while the need for protection and defense stoked the fires of organized social structures. Conflict often took center stage in prehistoric myths and rituals, with religious beliefs sometimes serving as the spark that ignited acts of violence or the bomb that soothed war wounds. Drawing from interdisciplinary knowledge, we can gain a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of these disciplines and their potential to contribute to a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the hive and our place within it. For example, the study of collective intelligence and sense-making can help us understand how prehistoric tribes navigated the complexities of warfare and conflict resolution. In contrast, studying creativity and problem-solving can illuminate how suffering and adversity catalyze innovation and growth. 
the ripple effects of conflict on prehistoric tribes and the course of human history, a call for ethical scientific progress in global harmony. The aftershocks of warfare and conflict reverberated through prehistoric society's social, economic, and political development. The devastation wrought by conflict could topple social structures, displace populations, and shift the balance of political power. Yet, amidst the chaos of war, the seeds of cultural exchange and technological innovation found fertile ground. Conquered tribes might adopt the superior technologies of their conqueror, and the movement of people in the wake of conflict could lead to the sharing of ideas and resources. This interconnectedness highlights the potential for humanity to function efficiently and harmoniously, inspiring readers to join the global effort towards a more connected, sustainable, and harmonious future. Fast forward to the present day, and we can still see the echoes of these ancient conflicts and the wars and military movements that shape our world. The shifting sands of power and influence have led to the rise and fall of empires, the redrawing of national borders, and the displacement of countless people. The consequences of these conflicts are far-reaching, impacting not only the physical landscape but also the economic activity, health, and quality of life of those caught in the crossfire. As we grapple with the ongoing cycle of war and its myriad side effects, it is essential to remember the lessons of the past and strive for a more ethical and harmonious approach to global relations. By acknowledging the carnage and consequences of warfare, we can work towards breaking the cycle of violence and fostering a more interconnected and compassionate world. In conclusion, the echoes of prehistoric tribes reverberate through the annals of history and the universe's self-perception, reminding us of the intricate web of connections that bind us to our ancestors and the cosmos. As we delve into the fascinating world of these ancient societies, we uncover the roots of our shared human experience and gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities and nuances of our collective past. By examining the military movements and global location trends of wars throughout history, we can better understand the cause-effect relationships that have shaped our world and work towards a more peaceful and harmonious future. Chapter 28. The Emergence of Complex Societies, Interdisciplinary Insights and the Flame of Prosperity The development of complex societies can be attributed to factors such as agriculture, technology, and social organization. Agricultural innovations allowed surplus food production, supporting population growth, and the emergence of specialized labor and social hierarchies. This growth can reflect the hive self-perception as human societies became more interconnected and complex, mirroring the intricate web of the cosmos. Environmental factors and resource availability also influenced the emergence of complex societies. Access to resources such as fertile land, fresh water, and valuable minerals enabled the development of large, centralized communities and advanced technologies. These advancements can be viewed through the lens of interdisciplinary knowledge, incorporating insights from physics, mathematics, neuroscience, science, and AI, all contributing to our understanding of the hive and our place within it. The relationship between prehistoric tribes and the development of early civilizations is an essential aspect of understanding the emergence of complex societies. By examining this relationship, we can gain valuable insights into the processes through which complex societies emerged and evolved and the role of consciousness as the hive's self-perception. The role of social psychology in the emergence of complex societies. Social psychology, particularly the study of in-group and out-group dynamics, offers valuable insights into the development of complex societies. As tribes grew and interacted with one another, they formed alliances and rivalries, shaping the social landscape and influencing the formation of early civilizations. The concept of us versus them played a crucial role in developing social hierarchies and establishing political power structures. Leakages and government declassifications have shed light on the role of secrecy and information control in developing complex societies. The manipulation of information and the strategic use of secrecy have been instrumental in shaping the course of human history, from the rise and fall of empires to the modern-day geopolitical landscape. Complex Systems Theory and the Emergence of Complex Societies Complex Systems Theory offers a valuable framework for understanding the emergence of complex societies. Human civilizations can be viewed as complex adaptive systems, characterized by the interplay of numerous interconnected elements and the constant adaptation to changing conditions. The Flame of Prosperity, Fuel and Conditions for Growth the emergence of complex societies can be likened to a flame of prosperity, requiring specific conditions and fuel to stay alight and grow. Factors such as access to resources, technological advancements, and social organization serve as the fuel for this flame. While the conditions for growth include political stability, cultural exchange, and the development of shared values and beliefs, the works of Soren Kierkegaard, Richard Feynman, and Daniel Schmachtenberger offer valuable insights into the human condition and the factors contributing to the emergence of complex societies. By examining the interplay of individual and collective consciousness, the role of personal responsibility, and the importance of ethical principles, we can better understand the foundations of human civilization and the potential for global harmony. Connecting the past to the present, intrigue and insights. Exploring the links between our modern world and the past offers a fascinating journey into the roots of human civilization. 
by examining the continuities and discontinuities between prehistoric tribes and early civilizations, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and diversity of human history. This exploration allows us to better understand the factors that have shaped our collective journey and the myriad ways our ancestors continue to influence our lives today. In conclusion, the emergence of complex societies is a multifaceted phenomenon, shaped by a diverse array of factors and disciplines. By incorporating insights from social psychology, complex systems theory, and the works of influential thinkers, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the processes through which complex societies emerged and evolved. This understanding allows us to appreciate the intricate web of connections that bind us to our ancestors and the cosmos, inspiring us to strive for a more interconnected, sustainable, and harmonious future. Chapter 29 The Power Dynamics and the Pursuit of Influence in Complex Societies The intricate dance of power dynamics between individuals and groups has been a driving force in the development of complex societies. As people compete for influence and control, they are motivated by various factors, such as personal ambition, the desire for security, or the pursuit of a greater good. This chapter delves into the complex interplay of power dynamics, drawing on insights from social psychology, complex systems theory, and the works of influential thinkers like Soren Kierkegaard, Richard Feynman, and Daniel Schmachtenberger. In group and outgroup dynamics in the pursuit of power, social psychology, particularly the study of in-group and out-group dynamics, offers valuable insights into the power dynamics between people. As individuals align themselves with various groups based on shared values, beliefs, or interests, they often develop a sense of loyalty and identification with their in-group. This loyalty can manifest in competition with out-groups, as individuals and groups vie for resources, influence, and control. Leakages in government declassifications have revealed the extent to which information control and manipulation have been used to maintain power and influence in complex societies. A strategic use of secrecy and the selective dissemination of information have shaped the course of human history, from the rise and fall of empires to the modern-day geopolitical landscape. Complex systems theory and the pursuit of power. Complex systems theory offers a valuable framework for understanding the power dynamics in complex societies. Human civilizations can be viewed as complex adaptive systems, characterized by the interplay of numerous interconnected elements and the constant adaptation to changing conditions. This perspective allows us to analyze the cause-effect relationships within the system of human civilizations as they start, form, and grow, leading to changes in movement, economic activity, health, and quality of life for every person and everything connected to the system. The flame of prosperity and the pursuit of power. The pursuit of power can be likened to the flame of prosperity, requiring specific conditions and fuel to stay alive and grow. Factors such as access to resources, technological advancements, and social organizations serve as the fuel for this flame. While the conditions for growth include political stability, cultural exchange, and the development of shared values and beliefs, the works of Soren Kierkegaard, Richard Feynman, and Daniel Schmachtenberger offer valuable insights into the human condition and the factors contributing to the pursuit of power in complex societies. By examining the interplay of individual and collective consciousness, the role of personal responsibility, and the importance of ethical principles, we can better understand the foundations of human civilization and the potential for global harmony. Connecting the past to the present, intrigue and insights. Exploring the links between our modern world and the past offers a fascinating journey into the roots of human civilization. By examining the continuities and discontinuities between prehistoric tribes and early civilizations, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and diversity of human history. This exploration allows us to better understand the factors that have shaped our collective journey and the myriad ways our ancestors continue to influence our lives today. In conclusion, the power dynamics and the pursuit of influence in complex societies are multifaceted phenomena shaped by a diverse array of factors and disciplines. By incorporating insights from social psychology, complex systems theory, and the works of influential thinkers, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the processes through which power dynamics have emerged and evolved. This understanding allows us to appreciate the intricate web of connections that bind us to our ancestors and the cosmos, inspiring us to strive for a more interconnected, sustainable, and harmonious future. Chapter 30 Conclusion Gazing back at the dawn of humanity and its echoes in our modern world, unearthing the secrets of prehistoric tribes, key findings and insights. Our journey through the world of prehistoric tribes has unveiled a wealth of knowledge about the early stages of human societies, their innovations, and their cultural practices. These insights have enriched our understanding of human history and shed light on the foundations of our modern world. By examining the tapestry of our shared past, we can better appreciate the complexities of human nature and the diverse cultural heritage that shapes our present. Real-world examples of prehistoric tribes, such as the Neanderthals and the early Homo sapiens, provide valuable insights into the development of human societies and the factors that have shaped our evolution. 
The discovery of the Lascaux cave paintings in France and the ancient city of Catalhuac in modern-day Turkey offer glimpses into our ancestors' artistic and cultural expressions, highlighting the importance of creativity and community in human development, in group and out-group dynamics in prehistoric societies. Social psychology, particularly the study of in-group and out-group dynamics, offers valuable insights into the power dynamics between people in prehistoric societies. As individuals align themselves with various groups based on shared values, beliefs, or interests, they often developed a sense of loyalty and identification with their in-group. This loyalty manifested in competition with out-groups, as individuals and groups vied for resources, influence, and control. Leakages and government declassifications have revealed the extent to which information control and manipulation have been used to maintain power and influence in complex societies. The strategic use of secrecy and the selective dissemination of information have shaped the course of human history, from the rise and fall of empires to the modern-day geopolitical landscape. Complex systems theory and the pursuit of power in prehistoric societies. Complex systems theory offers a valuable framework for understanding the power dynamics in prehistoric societies. Human civilizations can be viewed as complex adaptive systems, characterized by the interplay of numerous interconnected elements and the constant adaptation to changing conditions. This perspective allows us to analyze the cause-effect relationships within the system of human civilizations as they start, form, and grow, leading to changes in movement, economic activity, health, and quality of life for every person and everything connected to the system. The flame of prosperity and the pursuit of power in prehistoric societies. The pursuit of power in prehistoric societies can be likened to the flame of prosperity, requiring specific conditions and fuel to stay alight and grow. Factors such as access to resources, technological advancements, and social organization served as the fuel for this flame. While the conditions for growth included political stability, cultural exchange, and the development of shared values and beliefs, the works of Soren Kierkegaard, Richard Feynman, and Daniel Schmachtenberger offer valuable insights into the human condition and the factors contributing to the pursuit of power in prehistoric societies. By examining the interplay of individual and collective consciousness, the role of personal responsibility, and the importance of ethical principles, we can better understand the foundations of human civilization and the potential for global harmony. Connecting the past to the present, intrigue and insights. Exploring the links between our modern world and the past offers a fascinating journey into the roots of human civilization. By examining the continuities and discontinuities between prehistoric tribes and early civilizations, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and diversity of human history. This exploration allows us to better understand the factors that have shaped our collective journey and the myriad ways our ancestors continue to influence our lives today. In conclusion, the power dynamics and the pursuit of influence in prehistoric societies are multifaceted phenomena, shaped by a diverse array of factors and disciplines. By incorporating insights from social psychology, complex systems theory, and the works of influential thinkers, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of the processes through which power dynamics have emerged and evolved. This understanding allows us to appreciate the intricate web of connections that bind us to our ancestors and the cosmos, inspiring us to strive for a more interconnected, sustainable, and harmonious future.